You're about to listen to Tadpog. Tyler and Dave play old games. It's a comedy video game podcast. We would like to stress that the hosts are not experts and are really just very crass commentators. Seriously, this is an explicit podcast that happens to talk about video games sometimes. So please enjoy this pretty okay podcast with Tyler and Dave. Hello, Internet. Hi. Welcome. Hey. Hey there. Come and sit a while, Internet. Listen. Around just hanging out. Our little fire. We got a little fire. It was fireside a chat. Crackling fire. Is that a thing? That's a thing, right? Yeah. Fireside chats. Yeah. yeah. Is that like a good thing or a bad thing? I can't remember. I remember that's what... Didn't FDR start yeah. those? The yeah. fireside chats where he would televise him chatting beside a fire about shit happening in America? I think it was radio. Yeah. Radio? Did yeah. Reagan? Did Reagan? Maybe... Maybe it's younger than that. Did Reagan start that? I know Reagan did that. I think FDR. Like, I don't know. I think that was it. Yeah. That's yeah. why I asked, because I was trying yeah. to learn. But I, I, mean, I know Reagan did like albums of him just and talking like, shit. Like bluesy Propaganda, albums. Propaganda, you know? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Man, Reagan's like early stuff were really good, but then he got like super pop. <laughs> he, s- he sold out. <laughs> yeah, he sold out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he fucking did, he sold out pretty bad, I think. Yeah. But I mean, I don't know. <laughs> His early stuff was <laughs> sold out to big dementia. <laughs> <laughs> Almost get shot. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it really would have impressed Jody Foster. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we all know that. I think we can all agree on that. It is a grand gesture. That's the like, weirdest. Yeah. I fucking killed the president for you. Bro, how romantic. <laughs> it's the weirdest chasing Amy ever, only it's so it turns Jody some, Foster straight by puss. killing Come Reagan. Come on. <laughs> Kill the fucking president. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be the weirdest fucking thing if he had, like, if that had been successful and then Jody Foster would have been like, fuck, I want his dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no others. Man, fuck. all right. Damn. There's fuck, an exception to every rule. Jody Foster through fucking jail. Cell bars. <laughs> she marries the guy in jail. Man, the- <laughs> through the fucking bars, Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good podcast. I shot my second shot <clears throat> in Jody Foster. <laughs> <laughs> Wait three years for this bitch. <laughs> oh well, yeah. This is a uh, tad bog. Sorry. Tyler and Dave play old games. No, no, we're glad this is why you're here. Man. Uh, yeah. So we don't recognize those dulcet tones. It's Casey. Hey, Casey. Back again. What's up, guys? episodes in a row. And girls. Especially the girls. There's like like four of them. Hey, girls. (laughs) Yeah, they're a handful. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, go for it. You look like you were going to say something. (laughs) Maybe maybe we'll get a couple more. I don't know. I don't know. That'd be great. Tell your friends. It'll be be good. Yeah. Tell your friends. (laughs) Tell your your friends, yeah. I can come back. (laughs) Please. <laughs> if you're a woman and you want more hashtag more Casey, please let us know. <laughs> there is a Snapchat specifically for that. Oh. Yeah, you want to give that out? Um, you got you got premium. Yeah, they have to subscribe to I, Patreon yeah, yeah. to get uh, a special oh, Casey. Gotcha. I, think it's, I think it's Casey underscore yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah. No, just like Y E A H. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You selling your, your premium <laughs> chat? Your uh, premium snap? Not, not yet. Get, get on not the yet. Casey's I don't, don't want to discuss that. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tyler and Dave. So there was someone at work who he told me. He shit with his dick out. It's really great. Yeah. <laughs> there was someone at work who told me that a bunch of her friends from high school were mm-hmm. on OnlyFans yeah. now. Yeah. And I was like. Like real friends, like like here, because she grew up here. Like, like, like I can come up here. in the yearbook, like like yeah. Ooh, and, and, I was like, and she's like, I'm thinking about doing it. And I'm like, oh, and I'm like, I don't know. I'm thinking, like, I don't know how to speak to Do this. Do you guys know what that is, or did someone else tell you it's something different? <laughs> so you're all making it's like one. a sports betting website. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Really into it. Really yeah. into we all love it. Yeah. yeah. So there we go. <laughs> yeah, I found out a, a, a very straight laced. Um, She's a liberal, but she's like kind of a feminist. Found out she was a fan. Yeah. Um, I got an inside track on some free photos. Very nice. Very nice. 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 Yeah, but surprised. I was like, really? <laughs> that surprised girl? that she was that she yeah. was engaging in yeah. the OnlyFans. Like you're out on mm-hmm. like you know the Bernie Sanders campaign trail, and yeah. uh, you know <laughs> you, you go to these meetings and you do all the stuff, and you. I so, do it. I mean, <laughs> it, it definitely like, make money from it. Fuck yeah! It brought it home a little bit, you know. Like yeah. I was like, wow, sure. No, I get I, that. I think I know where she lives. 
So, but it's pretty tame as far as like you know prostituting goes. Like it's I don't want to know, for, know that it's really necessarily it's, even prostituting. It's yeah, pretty it's, tame yeah. prostitution. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, I don't know what your definition it? is, um, but <laughs> the mind is wow, not that <laughs> Sell, selling yourself. I mean, ladies, w- w- I'm sure we all appreciate it. Let's just say that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Go for it. I mean, we're selling ourselves right now. <laughs> yes, <I mean>. yes <laughs> that's true. We'll do anything for your dollar a month. <laughs> Almost anything. <laughs> we'll eat all the hot food. Yeah. yeah. You, if my penis will bring in more dollars, I think I might be willing it to do that. It couldn't bring in less. <laughs> right. Um, there you go. People said, we're down to $20 a month. <laughs> Let's see that dick. <laughs> oh, fuck, I got to do it now. <laughs> Show me the money! <laughs> You want to poop in the ocean with us? People have been bugging me I'll about that. I'll shit in that, that trash can. <laughs> 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 Pay these guys money. <laughs> well, today uh, we're going to talk about the Combat Tribes. Starring Jodie Foster. Or the Combat Tribes. The com- or the con- Contraception Tribes. Com- com- tribes. The Combo Tribes. They com- really like the yeah. pretzel pizza ones. Oh, just mm. the pizza ones? Mm. No. I'd say if it, were, if it were the honey sriracha ones, I'm no, like, I'll be I'll be in that one. Pretzel cheddar, dude, get the fuck out of here. Oh man, see blue buffalo blue cheese and honey sriracha. Those are my combos. So of choice. combos. Does anybody here at this table eat combos outside of road trips, or is that strictly a road trip? Um, strictly, strictly gas station purchase for, for, for me. Yeah, it's Gourmet, right? It's <laughs> yeah, Gourmet. It's Gourmet. Look, you- if I'm filling up the fucking gas can yeah. at, at the the Hux or whatever, and I'm going to go in there and get a cold beverage or a beer or a White Claw, whatever. <laughs> yeah, fucking combos. The big bag. That's like, that's fucking yeah. lunch. That's lunch. No beef jerky, no nothing? Um, no. Um, no. For road trips, yes. Yeah. But just let's just say, like, have you ever eaten combos outside? Well, yeah. I, I like combos that much. Okay. Yeah. But only cheddar cheese pretzel, right? What about Funyuns? How do we feel about Funyuns? Good. Yeah, I like I, Funyuns, too. I love Funyuns, but I burnt myself out on them. Not, subst- really? not substantial enough. They're very much like air, like greasy, oniony air. Oh, that so, sounds like, good, though. It does, <laughs> but then, then you're like, air? you're not That's you're like not Wario satisfied. farts. Yeah, you're not satiated. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I need something like, I got to get a fucking Snickers bar to go with this thing. I need something to fucking poop out later, you know? That is true. Snickers. Yeah. Ice cream Snickers, though? Good. Also, Next I level. miss the chew, okay? I like that, like, thick, the chew? dense... Yeah, of the Snickers, yeah. or is that a of the Snickers, like the yeah. nougat? I guess you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Um, is that your favorite candy bar, Snickers? I really dug Mars bars back in the day. Mars, but those they're not. I don't around. know if I've ever had one. The almonds, so it's like a Snicker with like almonds. So yeah. I'm a sucker for almonds. Okay, you like um, mounds then? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And almond joy. Yeah, because. Yeah. Almond Joy has nuts. Right. Mounds, Mounds don't. don't. I fucked it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But but we saved it. We saved yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, thank God. Fuck. I thought we were going to go back into OnlyFans on that. But. <laughs> Toodles. <laughs> you can see these mounds for only $5 <laughs> a month. For $5 a month. These lovely that, lady lumps. Is that a man boobs or is that testicles? I can't. Another way I finish. You decide. Another dollar. <laughs> Who's we'll that Pokemon? You. <laughs> you want another angle, baby? <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, shit. A jaunty <laughs> angle. <laughs> Did he put a hat on it? <laughs> oh. I put a hat on it. Oh. Is that a bonnet? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a pacifier or a sounding rod? <laughs> all right, we get to ten thousand dollars a month. We'll have pictures of Casey's dick dressed up as all six hundred Pokemon Muppet babies. Oh. Muppet babies. <laughs> <laughs> we'll actually do a Muppet Babies puppet listen, show. Listen, that, that's a lot of costume changes. Can we just maybe do like the Ninja Turtles or something? Something kind of like a small handful, right? That's yeah, I think that's, that's a lot of dick pics. Probably fair. <laughs> or it's a sh- large handful. It's two handfuls, Casey. Don't easy, sell yourself easy, short. Easy. But don't try to pull that <laughs> through, shit off. Through the toilet paper roll, and there's still like an inch of head that comes out the other side. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> two hands. I got big hands, though. So if you got like regular size hands, that's like uh, yeah. maybe more than two. <laughs> Especially if you're like a little girl. Or, I mean, uh, a boy. Whatever. I'm not. Gonna, I, I meant a, a small handed woman. Thanks. Thanks for listening, everybody. Yep. You can buy the show at Stitcher or SoundCloud. I need bail money. <laughs> <laughs> that got off hand. I mean, that was a little. Sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, so yeah, maybe if you got like petite hands, yeah, it might be more than two. So if you know like a three armed woman who's got small hands, <laughs> that'd be a great photo. I might, I might know. We might, we'll, or or we'll whatever. Look. 
um, prosthetic arm, you know, added, you know, an additional. I can just weapon. find one of those. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. It doesn't have to be like you know legit. It's gonna be a good photo. <laughs> Show me that dick. <laughs> You know those little, um, what are those little tiny hands that you put on your fingers or like little hand finger puppets? Yeah. yeah all over Snapchat every time <laughs> I open my Snapchat. You get, you get like four or five of those on there. <laughs> that's, 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 what, that's what we'll that's do. Dave and that's... I will each on to, uh, both of our, our hands yeah. have 10 hands oh. on them yeah. all over your dick. Yeah. 20 hands. 20 hands. 20, 20 little, 20 little hands. itty bitty finger yeah, hands. Yeah. It's like we're building a barn. Oh my God. <laughs> like a little Pac-Man. We'll call it the Amish barn raising. Yeah. It's going to be oh, wonderful. Yeah, it'd be great. I love it. That'll get you going, right? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even call that porn. That's just like art. I mean, <laughs> that's just friendship. Yeah, is what that is. That's just like appreciation of the male genitalia. And, that is. And, it's pushing boundaries. Yeah, yeah. I, pushing social norms. So sure. brave. So so brave. So brave. <laughs> <laughs> Little David Attenborough, like kind of narrating in the background as they stroke the. I think it'd be cool. I would pee myself if I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it wasn't my dick, you know. Save like, the pee from the the increased OnlyFans. Yes, <laughs> yeah, the next we video. Save we save. Combat tribes. Combat tribes. <laughs> what have you guys been up to this week? Anything new? And little. What have you been up to? Work. Work. No, yeah, yeah. Not shit. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Um. Just going through some some personal crisis. You know. Yeah. All that good stuff. Mm -hmm. Got it my own apartment. Yes. Uh, so. So <laughs> <laughs> that's why he needs your snaps. Yeah. 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 So I got a, a wicked child support case of Berwin, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm just, I'll save it, I swear. I swear. I'll fucking save it. I won't spend it on weed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and modellos. <laughs> a little bit on OnlyFans, but just yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Little Come on. The man's gotta live. I gotta give a startup <laughs> cost cover. Yeah. You know. You know. Gotta get the outfits. That shit's not cheap. Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Body paint, you know. My babies have Amazon wish lists, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. I got one nair. Do do? A lot of nair. <laughs> My nair budget's gonna go way up. <laughs> <laughs> My nair budget is a fucking roof. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's what I've been up to. I'm just kind of, uh, but I'm cool with it. You know, totally cool. Long time coming. Whatever. Yep. Uh, got on some dating apps, you know. Uh, How are those? It, not bad. Not yeah. bad. When was um, the last time you went on a date with someone? Oh, um, dude, you know, you're talking about 15 years, 15 16 years. years. Yeah. So now it's like, good, yeah. good bit of time. Now dating now, now is going to be very, very different, I'm sure. Um, I, yeah, we'll see. I mean, I think, I think a lot of people, they're just kind of shy. I don't know what their deal is. Like, you're on this site. It's like, come on, bitch, mix it up. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to see my dick or not? Is that, which one no, of those I, is your opener? <laughs> um, all, the, neither, all the kids neither. say this is what it's about. However, however, I often think sometimes if I just like let it out full force, kind of yeah. like what we are doing here, right? I might just get like you know some some badass check and like fall madly in love. It's like wow. Yeah. She gets me, bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. She gets me. I no. don't know. Uh, you don't know. Okay, yeah. I mean, ask a hundred girls not. who want to fuck know. on a pile of trash. One might say yes. <laughs> one, one, <laughs> she's the one, bro. As, as 200, one will definitely say yes. <laughs> um, <Good odds. laughs> so, um, yeah, just, just doing that, just kind of having fun. As a, as a, I don't know if it's a healthy distraction, I'm going to be honest. Um, Why do you say that? Well, you know, recently separated, you know, right. so... Uh, a lot of a lot of sexual desire sure. from the ex-wife. Mm. A lot of a lot of racy uh, Snapchats. Hello. Yeah, and uh, premium some, snaps. Some, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, text messages and uh, yeah. you know. So I don't know, but I mean, it's a trap. I, I, it's a trap, though. It's a trap. Most, yeah, most definitely. Um, so wait, tell me about that. Uh, you know, so like uh, breakup sex is always. Um, or, or makeup sex. I'm sorry. There's the you know breakup, and then the the makeup sex uh, tends to be you know very colorful. And, yeah, and a lot of fun and passionate and you know a lot of fellatio, which the best, right? Yeah. <laughs> Most so you know yeah, um, and other things too. I don't want to get too graphic. You know, mm -hmm. I mean you can if you want to. But, but I, say, I mean, but we pretty much like, said yeah. Okay, all yeah. To so say. <laughs> fingers in her butt, fingers in my butt. Okay, uh -huh. well, you know, butt just, stuff. Yeah, butt stuff. You know, hair pulling. There was some like intense, you know, choking and just really like pussy pounding. Mm -hmm. Um, and I hashtag you know, yeah, like really just <laughs> <fucking>. <laughs> like like I, 
hate fuck, I guess. You're like, I, I fucking hate mm. you, fuck. You know, like, mm. I want to fuck the fuck out of you. <laughs> um, and I want it to hurt, and I want you to be a little scared. And, um, yeah. you know, lo and behold, girls like that shit, you know? <laughs> some do. Some, some do. do. I was some about do. to say, yeah. Um, so, and that's a weird, like, uh, outcome you're like oh well we both really like that even though i don't like you like like you like you don't love you anymore like you're ruining my fucking life um <laughs> <laughs> so yeah um you ever had anything like that i mean like which part mm-hmm. oh, um <laughs> some of some of it yeah 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 <laughs> not all of that no, but no, some I, of and it I, and not, I don't, not the I don't part hate. where you ruined my life but all the other stuff right. like, yeah. yes i don't yeah. I, I don't hate twice I, a I, week I, I, <laughs> and i exaggerate you know what i mean um, also, fingers in my butt, not so much. But. Oh, dude. Well, you're getting fucking blowjobs? I mean, and what if your finger's in her butt, too? I mean, there's like both fingers, you know, each other's fingers up how, in the butts. How many fingers are got in this motherfucker? Okay, That's so like I, got, I got a thumb on the clit. I've got, um, yeah. mm-hmm. I've got probably the index finger. No, no my ring, uh, middle finger yeah. in the vagina. Mm-hmm. Okay, looking for the G spot. I really like that curl kind of like hump thing. You yep. kind of, you know. And then you know, ring no, I don't know what you're, what are you ring, talking. Ring about. finger, ring finger is what definitely is? going for the the Patuski. Uh-huh. Okay? The so, Patuski, my yeah. favorite baseball player from the yeah. 30s. He was great. <laughs> yeah. Racist, dirty, fuck, dirty Patuski. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, God. Uh, but yeah, so and that just that's great. No, that's all good. It's yeah. just the other. Treating it's like just the other way around. Oh, the, I don't. Yeah, I don't want the. the you're the finger in in your butt. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's well, I don't cool have, too. I don't have enough nair. No, yeah, I haven't no. got that. Is my Amazon. I haven't got my fucking. Uh, it's not Amazon Prime <laughs> yeah, Day. Yet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I'm afraid to use it in that uh, in that area. How about just don't? It's probably gonna burn. Just don't. Or, how about just turn the lights down? You know, you got oh, no. lubricant. Um, you know, you got the spa station on Amazon Music playing in the oh. background. It's oh. it's real. It's just kind of just go. For, I mean, you might want to try it again. I don't know. No, see, Melissa and I like to crank Marilyn Manson. You know, yeah. Whatever, whatever, well, whatever. It, it is. it's time for that, turn on the. It wasn't my choice, and and honestly, I don't know. Like, and then you're what, like, let's do what, Columbine. What is, what is my best ass <laughs> finger in music? Yeah, that's pretty good. Like, <laughs> what, what music? What music do you put on to to like you know loosen up that? <laughs> <laughs> Send them on Snap, please. Siri, yeah. Siri, what music do you listen to to loosen up that butt? I, I hope some of these people like reach out to me with some weird shit. I'm thinking it's gonna be great. What, where can they Where can they reach you? Oh yeah, Casey underscore yeah at Snapchat. All right, in oh, Snapchat. Yeah. There we go. On it. Um, yeah. Send me some weird shit. I don't know. <laughs> Break the seal. <laughs> Give him everything, Dad Park. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> shit, I've seen some of this stuff online. Uh, <laughs> terrified Michelle, make him terrified. <laughs> There's no moderators or censor now, bitch. You've watched E-Fucked with Tyler. You're good. Yeah. You got, like, yeah. You're, you're... Very good. Very good. Yeah. I mean, I, I told him like what what videos were giving me an erection and which ones were not. I'm like, yeah, dude, this is this is giving me wood. Did he make you fill out the sheet? No. Yeah. Oh, no. I think I think we're friends. I think we're friends. I have to sign the waiver. <laughs> no fapping in here. Sign <laughs> your fucking name. <laughs> there are chains in the garage. It's all planted out. There, there are chains oh. in the garage. You got a you got a sexy garage, man. Yeah. I don't know if anyone yeah. told you that. Yeah, fucking you got a sexy other. garage. Maybe when it warms up, you know. <laughs> That's true. Take yeah. each other back back there and For some heavy, heavy bondage. I, uh, you know, I, I like I like the pain a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah. Giving. No. Receiving. Receiving. Um. Yeah. I don't want to hurt somebody. Like, I had I had fucked a girl like on, on a three day rumpus sex show thing, and it elevated fairly quickly, and then she was like. Punch me in the face. She and told you to punch yeah, her yeah, in the face. Yeah, there was some, you know, some light choking. Have you Not, seen me? You'll die. Uh, no, no, just like, and I was like, I think I kind of did like a little light slap, you know. And yeah. she was like, no, like, and I'm like, no, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Mm. Um, so I'm not. I'd much rather, I think, receive. It'd be hard to punch somebody. Yeah, in dude, the face. it was fucked up. It was fucked up. Yeah, be, I think it'd like, be hard to punch somebody in the face. Um, yeah. And even the slapping was like kind of uncomfortable. So yeah, that's not my bag. I mean, some people I'm sure love love that kind of shit. Um, but yeah, you want to like fucking beat me with a paddle or like smack me around with some, something like. I was about to say, it sounds like you love that. Yeah, shit. yeah, I, 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 yeah, 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 I do. Like, yeah, but just the opposite end, you know, like the right, receiving end. Right. Um, I like the tingle. I mean, I like the kind of yeah. um, 
I don't know, that adrenaline that kind of gets gets going when when you know something's painful, but you know, uh, I love it. So. <laughs> <laughs> show, show me how you're gonna punish me. This year, Ted Buck girls only though. Come girls only. Can I say that? Face. Yeah, I know. The four girls that are out there on the show, if you're into that sort of thing, you feel a little racy. Talk to Casey. <laughs> <clears throat> That's the tagline. You yeah. feeling racy? Talk to Casey. Casey. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Why not? Can you put that in your bio? Yeah. That, I like it. Good. That's in the show notes. We make a note of that. <laughs> yes, please. Um, but again, please, girl, girls only. Yeah. Um, you so, know what you like. So, so my wife the other day, right? Uh huh. Got a new phone. Okay. Right? And in this whole separation thing, she texted me from her new number, which I don't know. Okay. I didn't. Okay. Ask, I didn't ask for it. Um, She's trying I, to set you up. Yes, yeah. but she actually um, at one point I'm like, who the fuck is this? Like, mm-hmm. it could have been. I mean, I'm, I'm on I'm on Bumble and then things like that. So maybe right. some. So well, it, the, the the first line was sex tonight question mark. I'm like, uh, oh, well, yeah, that sounds. <laughs> I'm like, I'm playing it pretty cool. Now. Right, just yeah. come back to the garage, Tyler. It's fine. Yeah. Um, and eventually, like somehow it evolved. Like. Uh, she was gonna start. She started posing like as a dude, or potentially as a dude. I was about I'm to like, say your response yeah, should have been yeah. Tyler. Yeah, no, no, no. no. <laughs> She's like, I can, you know, what if I was a dude? I'm like, fuck no. Like, just it was like very hard lines, but and still playful because I I figured something was gonna happen. Sure, uh, and it turned out to be her. I finally got to admit, I got her to admit that it was yeah. You know, so that was that was pretty fun and weird. Yeah, uh, and very flirtatious and just fucking strange. It, yeah, was strange. it was strange. Yeah, so I'm like, no, I don't want to. You know, no dudes. No. There was mention of greasy buttholes, right? Which is great. Um, and I'm like, yeah, cool. I'm just not on dudes. I'm like, you know, sorry. Oh, man. They got the greasiest buttholes, though. I know, but still, I just, I don't. <laughs> you, you could, you could. If I see. <laughs> the world's if, greasiest. If, if, so if there's like, if, if, if this poor gentleman's ass is up and it, maybe it might look, you know, somewhat feminine, it's clean, it's yeah. hairless, it's yeah. whatever, bleach, it's greasy, it's wet. Cleaner wax. than an elven's yeah. arse. But then there's like, you know, fucking scrotum and a cock tangling down there. I'm like, it's, yeah. it's a hard no, dude. I'm, I'm just. What if that's clean shaven and also greasy? Mm-hmm. Does that change? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. And like, it's like made, yeah. it's real pretty now. Okay. No. <laughs> yeah, what if no. it's painted like a giraffe? No. Does that change? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> get hairs in my mouth. Giraffe. What if it has Painted. one of those little baby hand finger puppets on the end? <laughs> Would you at least shake the hand? No. Well, what okay. if his dress would look like Rat King reaching for the ass? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's got like bandages wrapped around it. It looks like Rat King. <laughs> what if it's hidden in a, a, a whole bunch of prosthetic dicks? <laughs> Yeah, like a double dare scenario. <laughs> it's a prize dick. You gotta You're find going the through plan. all the dildos. Like, no, yeah. that's not the that's one I want. <laughs> oh, oh, whoa, 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 that one's more. <laughs> Hi, nine out of out of one hundred. You're not gay, but you grabbed the wrong one. Like, um, like Adam's family okay, pulled okay. the chain. <laughs> um, I think that would be. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Yeah, oh, yeah, we huh. found it. Yeah. We found it. Yeah. I was trying yeah. to find that line, and yeah. we found the line. Yeah. Not giraffe, but yeah. the pile of prosthetics. Yeah. yeah. There we are. Or, or just a, a dildo. It was like dildo shopping, and you're like, you know, and, and they're like out of the package and whatnot, and you're like, they might be in a pile. Or like Maybe it's like discount dildo day. Like, oh, $5 dildo. Okay. Like, the best like, day. Like, Triple D. Shitty old X-Games You got Taco Tuesday. You got You're digging, you're your digging dildo through dildo the bin. <laughs> you don't see the guy's body for somehow, you know, but his fucking dick is attached to him, and his fucking dick's in there. You're like, oh, oh, that's, not, that's a real dick. Oh, that's a real, <laughs> you got me. How much for that one? Yeah. <laughs> that one's free. <laughs> <laughs> Speak into the microphone, sir. (laughs) (laughs) There's something in there about him bringing us lasagna at work, but I'm I'm still working through it. (laughs) I've been playing a lot of Valheim, which isn't nearly as interesting as, like, you know, anything that Casey just said, but it's (laughs) the truth. Yeah, no. I feel better. Yeah, yeah, but it's the truth. We, uh, we, we, five of us piled up onto Mitch's Viking boat last night. Uh, and we harpooned a sea serpent. We were attacked on the way to mine some some fucking ore. We got attacked by a sea serpent, and Mitch fucking scorpioned that motherfucker, and then nice. we pulled it onto the... We, we docked the boat, pulled the sea serpent up, and we all just clubbed it to death. Nice. And then got some scales, and then got back on. That's pretty sweet. And then there was this island that was like... So there's mining in the game, right? Yeah. We found this island out in the middle of the ocean. It's like, okay, let's... Get, and it had things on it that looked like they were mineable. So we get out and we get on we get on this island and these things that we can mine look like giant barnacles. 
and we start mining them, and then the island starts moving because it is a leviathan, and we are literally mining particles uh. off of it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it didn't like that, and then we had to scramble to get back. Did it fully like awaken? You got to see a leviathan arise out. No, thank God. But there was a point where we were on, uh, on the ocean, right? And uh, the game like glitched out or lagged out or something, and four of us were all of a sudden in the ocean, oh. um, <laughs> in the knew. middle of the ocean. And meanwhile, uh, Zalnop, who was uh, driving the boat, was like probably a good five miles away <laughs> and had to like turn around. <laughs> and so, like this way, the swimming in that game works is you got like the stamina bar, right? And if you if you swim your stamina bar decreases. And if it decreases to zero, you just start drowning. Like, it's just mm. like you start. So we couldn't move. We're all just like, just sitting there like dead logs. Meanwhile, it's like if a sea serpent were to come by like right the fuck now, uh, we'd all be eaten for sure. Damn. But Zal, Zal saved us. So That's it was pretty good. cool. It was good. I like that. Sounds tense. It's a, it's a, well, it can be tense. Yeah. That was tense, but it's also a game where it's like, if you just want to chill out, yeah, and fucking like listen to a podcast or like listen to some music and chop down trees for yeah. two hours, yeah, you yeah. can do that. And it's like, okay. And then you a got a whole books. bunch of logs. Yeah. yeah. I finished two uh, Wheel of Time books farming in Diablo 3, trying to get better gear. Yeah, man. I still what you didn't. have to do in Diablo 3. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, so yeah, Valheim, it's good. Come play with us. We got like, Discord going and all that, bit.ly slash Tadpog Discord. And yeah. there's probably like, I mean, one night we had like the server can hold 10, and I think that's all. Okay. So, yeah. You know, it's, Do you personally have levels? Like, if I join, would I have to like level up to catch up to you, or is it uh, more of just going out and finding shit? It's more going out and finding stuff. Like, everything's gated behind gods that you kill. Mm -hmm. So, it's like, but it's only gated, honestly, like if you want to craft any of it. So, like, if you came on, I mean, people could just give you stuff, and then you'd be caught up. I mean, if okay. you wanted to ever craft it, I think you'd have, have to, to go back and kill go gods. and kill the gods, like but, in Final Eleven, whenever a new joins. Right? Yeah. yeah, totally. But I mean, no, it's pretty easy to it's pretty easy to catch up. I think uh, like we've only killed two gods, um, and like the, only. the yeah, and the third one, like I mean, the dear god, it's better than Elmdor. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Four, three people out there got that. Got that reference in my second D&D &D game ever. <laughs> and only one of them is listening, and they're at this table right now. <laughs> uh, but the second guy, like, the, the, the god fights are like boss fights, and it's like the second god is this, like, fucking giant treant. And it's like you, we went in with, like, flaming arrows, like, we crafted flaming arrows, and he's weak to axes, too. And uh, so he, you summon him, and he like shows up, and he's towering above you, and he just like puts his stretches his hand out and like shoots vines, like thorny vines Sweet. out that you gotta like hide behind pillars, and then meanwhile he's like summoning like thorns and shit from the ground that you have to avoid. So it's it's pretty neat, but it's like it's really fun when there's like seven of us just like running around like shooting flaming arrows at this like giant treant. It's cool. That yeah, it's pretty cool. It's it's a cool experience. Mm. It is it is really neat. It run really good on your computer too. It's like a gigabyte. It's like a fucking gigabyte. <laughs> no, that's so crazy. Zach Peter's like two potatoes, so it'd be all right. That's, that thing's like it's like two potatoes. That thing's like a bushel. It's two and a half potatoes. It's a fucking bushel <laughs> of potatoes right there, man. But yeah, it's Valheim. It's great. Check it out. I'm actually gonna be on. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this or not, but I'm gonna. They'll probably be okay with it. Uh, the guys from Press B to Cancel asked if I'd come on and talk about Val Valheim yeah, with them. Fuck yeah. I'm excited about it because I mean that game is like fun to talk about. Yeah, yeah. The guy that Casey and I work with it, every day he tells me a little bit about it. So oh it's man, like, it does sound, sounds pretty good. Man, it's so good, but it's also one of those where it's like I don't feel like I put in enough time because like the some of the people we play with put in a lot of time and it's which is great because like they can help me out and stuff they help people out but at the same time it's kind of like man i just wish i could play this game a whole fucking lot more responsibilities and stuff yeah I fucking live it oh and i've got a psa not valheim related um <laughs> so i've been playing i don't know if i'm allowed to talk about this either <laughs> but <laughs> i'm gonna i'm sure, hopefully it doesn't mind um, I've uh, I talked about it in the Twitch stream, so you're probably okay. Uh, I've been playing Scott Pilgrim versus the World for the Switch, the Switch re-release. I've yes. been playing that with Choctopus yes. on YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys probably know who that is. If you don't, check him out for sure. Um, or our Goof Troop episode, right? Yeah, our Goof mm -hmm. Troop episode. Uh, we've got something in 
the works to get him back on the mm-hmm. show. Yep. Uh, but here's my PSA. First of all, definitely watch that video when it comes out. It might be out m- Monday. I don't know. Um, but, man, holy shit. Do not buy that game if you're planning on playing it online. <laughs> oh, really? It is the worst. It is super really? glitchy. And, yeah, there were so many times that we were playing, and it's like all of a sudden it would desync. And it's like he's seeing something completely different than I'm seeing. And he's like, why are you punching the air? And it's like, I'm not punching the air. Why are you punching the air? (laughs) That Uh, fucking, that breaks my heart. And then disconnects and just like, yeah. And there were some graphical glitches too. And we're both like hardwired Ethernet, you know, Mm. with our switches. So it's like, it's not like a Wi-Fi issue. (laughs) It's a Nintendo thing. It's it's actually, I think, an Ubisoft thing. Because like I looked it up because I'm like, man, this is fucking weird. So like we look it up and it's like, there are so many people online who are just like, yep, this sucks. It's garbage. (laughs) Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Single player, though, as far as I know. Solid. Yeah. Fucking good book. Fucking good game. Like, oh, man. It is. Yeah, it is. Great book. Great series of books. Oh, talk about the Kamba tribes if you guys want to. Yeah. Get it, get it out of the way. Yeah. Well, get it out of the way. What do you mean? Uh, For what? I've been having fun talking about the other shit. We've already done that. Well, well, we... That's true. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. We can go back to it. I like Kamba tribes. So I'm I'm I feel like I'm probably the only one here who did. And I was like expecting to come in like I don't think anyone else is at this table like yeah. this game. <laughs> but I liked it. It's um you know, we haven't done a segment. You were a lot better at it than Casey. And I. But yeah. I don't. Yeah, yeah. But I think that's just kind of like this game is like. Have you guys ever played Renegade? Mm-mm. So Renegade is the first Kunio Kun game that Technos did, uh, and it's an arcade game. It was ported to the NES, and it is essentially a game very much like this, where there are several acts. And in that act, you are... Uh, act raiser, essentially. You're, yes, yeah. it's, you're reading from the Bible, mm-hmm. the Book of Acts. Book of Acts, that's what it's based on. Um, and uh, also Golden Acts. I don't know if you knew that or not. Also oh. based on the Acts book in the Bible. Yeah. Golden <laughs> Acts. Um, also a David Bowie album. Um, so they're, um, it's like Renegade in that a whole bunch of like mooks come and fight you, and then you beat them up. And Casey's laughing like a... Is I supposed to say story? that? I don't know. <laughs> God, I hope not. <laughs> no, I think that's a Whatever. different... Whatever. No, I think that's a different... <laughs> fucking mooks. I think that's a, <laughs> no, I think that's a Sorry different... Sorry for any mooks listening. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Siri. <laughs> is, uh, is mooks a racial slur? Uh, she didn't answer, so probably. <laughs> Dumped her. So probably. Got so, her. So Got pro- her. So probably, yeah. Well, it's not the first time we did that by accident. <laughs> I don't think it is. I think it's a thing. But yeah, I couldn't tell you, like, you it's know. a stupid or incompetent person. So all three of us at this table, yeah. a bunch of fucking like mooks. Yeah, it's an informal, informal. M double O K S. M double O K S. Yeah, mooks. Yeah, man, I'm super glad. A it's... Group, a single one would be mook. Don't be a fucking. Mook. Don't be a fucking mook. So you fight all these henchmen, <laughs> mookies, <laughs> and then and then you fight a boss. And that's pretty much how uh, this works in Kama Tribes, too. Uh, which is interesting, because Kama Tribes is essentially if Renegade and Double Dragon had a baby. And specifically, Double Dragon 1, because uh, it has the control scheme from Double Dragon 1. So, I don't know if you guys ever played or remember Double Dragon 2, but shit got weird, where it's like you gotta face a certain... Di- a and B buttons do something different depending on which direction you're facing. That's how it worked in Renegade as well. So that's kind of like, as far as I know, that's like the basis of that control scheme. So this game by Technos that came out, it's an arcade game that came out in 1991, um, kind of combined those two things. It combined Renegade and Double Dragon, where you kind of have a Renegade game, uh, but with a Double Dragon control scheme. So it's kind of like taking the best of both worlds. And I think that that is why I liked it. I don't think it's because I was good at it. Uh, I mean, but I do think that playing Renegade definitely, because I've beaten Renegade, and it's like that certainly helps because it's like it just kind of it just kind of translates a little bit. So I've got I now have a new entry for our long running series. Please, uh, Tyler's is it a racial slur corner? Mm. So mook, okay, Mook, Mook, according to Urban Dictionary, noun. Italian American short form of Maluk. 
or motherfucker. Well, yeah. so far it seems like it's okay, except for the Italian American thing. They but, just came up with it. Oh, That's they just right. invented it's not it for Italian Americans. Okay. They I just gotcha. made, just made it. Okay, all right. One. I like it even better now. A person of little social standing. One not worthy of respect. Two. An affectionate term for a regular guy. One who is unpretentious. Or, or like a good fella? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, you know, he's a mook. Yeah. Like old, old Josh yeah. Nance. He's a, he's he's a fucking a, mook. He's a fucking mook. <laughs> <laughs> or three, a, a an incompetent person. Okay. <laughs> so what, a galoot? Like old galoot. Galoot. Same thing? Galoot's another one. Let me pull up my Luke. Is that a breed of dog? A maluk? Well, well see, my, uh, my Luke was hyperlinked, so I clicked on it. Okay. It says Maluk is... Um, Ma- Marmaduke's brother. Which I, t- I, I think great it was dog. Yeah, accidentally... <laughs> I think it was accidentally linked, because the definition of Maluk is male okay is an Indian Punjabi name for mainly girls. It means delicate. Oh, it's a name for Maluk delicate. Maluk is a nice girl. Oh. Kind of like a mook, but, but like a girl. A, mook, but for a, girl. a nice girl. A maluk. A maluk. All right. Well, I feel like super uncomfortable now. So um, it's good now. We're good. Sh- I don't know. Sorry. I don't know. Casey, I'm just threw fucking me sensitive. Off. I mean, can, <laughs> can we ask him to leave? Is it okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fat. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's actually there's something. So it's been requested because we've been off our segments for like straight up. Three weeks. Mm-hmm. So I think we need to get back on the segment. Okay. All right. It's been mentioned to me several times. That do you hear it's that, like, Dave? <laughs> I do hear that. I hear those, I hear those malukes and the mooks. <laughs> They're getting together. They're fornicating for the first time, and it's beautiful, mm-hmm. uh, which, of course, ushers in a segment that we like to call Dave Reads from Wikipedia. And then you can be the judge of whether or not. Okay, guys. The Combat Drives is a 1990 beat-em-up. Probably would have been useful if I had mentioned that. Uh, yeah, not, not necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> a 1990, so far I'm doing great. A 1990 uh, beat-em-up game released for the arcades by Technos Japan Corp. Uh, the developers are Renegade and Double Dragon. A, a home version, which is the one that we're talking about, mm-hmm. uh, for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System was also released in 1992. The game centers on three vigilantes identified as cyborgs in the SNES port, who must fight against numerous street gangs in futuristic New York City. The SNES version was released for the Wii Virtual Console in North America on November 30th, 2000. Which uh, honestly seems like it wasn't that long ago, but it was. It was 12 years ago. It was a really long time ago. I would love, uh, speak since we're bringing segments back, I would love if you would give us a mm-hmm. little bit of a mm-hmm. little Tadbog Theater to maybe set the scene for this game. From from this ad. A print ad. A print ad. A, a real one. A, this is a real, this is a real print ad. ad, sort of comic strip about the combat tribe. I'm Martha Sp- Renegade Cyborg and Fabulous Babe. And this is a panel of um, what looks to be like Kim Cattrall. Uh, and, yeah. and like yeah. a tight, short, green dress with, uh, she's also wearing Wonder Woman's bracers. Yep. And there's cars behind her. I don't know if she stopped that traffic or she's if those a, are just she's all. She's a fabulous babe. Yeah. yeah. Are those all the cars she owns? <laughs> it's like her episode of MTV Cribs. <laughs> I bailed on the military and I've come to take over all the gangs in New York City. New York City. New York City. And the Joker's apparently in this game. Yeah, the Joker and John Wayne Gacy. You can see him in the background. Uh, clowned and unclowned. Yeah, the unclowned on the left, clowned on the right. Clown check. <laughs> Not even my old buddies, the Comba Tribes, can stop me now. And in that panel, she definitely doesn't look like Kim Cattrall anymore. No, she has, <laughs> she has ceased to control. Yeah, she looks like a lizard person in that, in that one. <laughs> Don't count on it, Splatterhead. A man on a motorcycle approaches. Just because you were once part of the unit doesn't mean Belova and Blitz and I will show any mercy on your bootlicking gangs. I like this voice. Uh, yes, okay. Why, Berserker... You wouldn't hit a lady, would you? Seductive pose. 
Thwack! Big fist. <laughs> Cyborgs ain't ladies! <laughs> uh, where she's now laying on the ground, <laughs> twisted, and her, her neck she, is not... She, she's dead. <laughs> she looks a little bit like a, like a post-coitus... Um, Ooh. Uh, what's her name from Archie? Betty. Betty? She a post-coitus <laughs> Betty? A dead post-coitus Betty. So I'm about to say, yeah. Uh, like the Betty snuff <laughs> film. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That famous <clears throat> RT Digest 666, <laughs> the Betty snuff <laughs> film. So I, I also sent you, um, so that's a really good, like, thank you for setting the scene. I feel like that kind of lets everybody know kind of what this game is about. But there is an intro in the game that I really want us to read and kind of figure out. But I also want to point out, okay, so the box art for the Combat Tribes is down here yeah, with the three members on right. the cover. They in no way resemble the men they got in the fight. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not the Berserker Blitz and Bulova that I know. <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> They're a little off model. <laughs> <laughs> a little. I also like, um, everyone should look up this ad for real. The panel where he's like, where Berserker's like pointing at her, his arm was totally added after the fact. Like that is like someone, <laughs> like, the, like the editor was looking through that and was like, he needs to be pointing. And then someone was like, fuck, I got to draw this arm in now. <laughs> it looks like it is slowly creeped in from the side of the frame. Yeah. Here, I'll give it to Casey so he can peruse what we've been talking about. Oh, yeah, you. can you grade us and let us know how well we did like in painting this picture in your mind? We did pretty good, right? <laughs> <laughs> Cyborgs ain't <eight> ladies. <laughs> <laughs> pretty bad. So, very good, guys. Very, very yeah. good. Thank you. Thank you. We are here today to answer the big question. Are cyborgs ladies? What they identify they as. Could it's, be. Up to, it's up to them, yeah. not up to me. Yeah. What they identify as or their programmers have identified them as. Self-aware. Well, cy- cyborgs are... I don't know. Cyborg are part human, right? So a cyborg I mean, part human, so you can decide, right? You're still your humanity's still there. I don't though. know. Is your brain where's your where's where's the soul live? How much of your humanity your her humanity can you lose? <laughs> <laughs> very, very good. Before you become, you know, it's a machine. Be, it's gotta be shadow run rules, I guess, right? Yeah. How much essence do you lose? And I mean, without the brain though, like she couldn't self identify Then I guess at that point it is. Yes. I think so. So, so the, the soul like uh, yeah, can you conjure up some kind of intelligence or some kind of systematic kind of presence uh, without their brain? Yeah, you could, but then yeah, you're right. You just solely on the the publisher of. So what it so that's my vote. A cyborg is part robot, part human, right? Yeah, I agree with that. A- and an android is all robot, but made in the human form. I think that's fair. Is that how that works? Yeah. I mean, yes. I mean, they call them the androids in Dragon Ball Z. Right, I know. But they're modified humans. They're more and, cyborgs and than they are androids. And Krillin one of them. And gets it pregnant. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and gets it pregnant? pregnant? Uh-huh. Interesting. <laughs> their child Marin, who looks like a little Krillin with hair. Mark Marin? <laughs> my, their child is Mark. Oh, my God. I've always From said Glow? the child of Android 18 <laughs> and Krillin is Mark Marin. Wow. Do you remember when the child of Krillin and that android interviewed Obama? <laughs> <laughs> Krillin is towed without the hat. He by had the an way. intimate moment with Louis C.K. about their friendship. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so wait, so then in that case, an android is just a human. I mean, it sounds. Like, I think yeah, they what they should have been called cyborgs and not androids. I Dragon see. Ball Z. Or yeah, they yeah. skipped the arc where the androids all got human genitalia. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. they cut that segment out yeah. for kids WB or they whatever. They cut the fuck that segment out of corpses and glued it yeah, on. Right? Is that what the Frieza saga was about? He's like, yeah. I freeze all these genitalia. <laughs> that's what he said. He comes like, back right? with robot parts after after yeah. Goku kills him. So it's all it's all weird. Yeah, <laughs> he kind of looks like he's made out of genitalia. Honestly, it's, yeah, that's why he's so powerful. Yeah, yeah, no, that does make a lot of sense. <laughs> that's why he pulsates so much. Yeah. Balls, balls. <laughs> His third form does look like a giant dick, so... Yeah, well... So this intro from the game. So this is legitimately from the game, the Super Nintendo game. The Comba tribes have come to New York City, the center of all evil in the United States. They have heard a rumor about a mysterious organization, Ground Zero, who controls the street gangs of America. So I want to feel... I want to, like... I want to unwrap this. Uh Uh-huh. So... 
this is all text that is shown in front of uh, the, the Twin, Twin Towers. Towers. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, ground Zero is mentioned, and also that this city, New York City, is the center of all evil. <laughs> Uh, okay. What? Yeah. <laughs> what? T- Techno is uh, Bin Laden confirmed. Uh, <laughs> what? Coincidence, my vote. <laughs> wow. No. No. Yeah. Wow. No, Casey. Yeah. Wow. I don't know. Take like, your fucking, Occam's razor I, 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 and throw I, 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 it away. We're going to get into like, the, the dancing Israelis. Like, I've, I've been down that rabbit hole a little bit, you know. Wow. I don't know. Did you know that they changed the name? Of the gang from Ground Zero when they released it on the Wii in 2009. Uh, yeah, they were okay. like, oh, we can't do this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep, good. I think they changed it to Ground Justice. <laughs> they called it the Taliban. <laughs> Powder <laughs> Justice. In a shaker can. So, yeah, that's a little... That's that's quite an intro. I think that might be the yep. most controversial intro we've had in a Super Nintendo game. Yep, I would say so. <laughs> it's a hot button intro right there. But not when it was made, though, right? You know, not when it was. A break. It depends. Mm-hmm. Someone in Technos got a time machine, you know, and they're like, people. subliminally, like, you know, yeah, I have to warm them, but I don't know how. Out. Yeah, the guy from Technos <laughs> is like, you don't get it, but your kids are gonna love it. <laughs> <laughs> You don't get it, but when you graduate high school, <laughs> you'll fucking get it. <laughs> Your mom's gonna fuck you. <laughs> so that's Combo Tribes. Combo Tribes. That's it. Combo Tribes. Um, it's it's different. It's a different little side scrolling beat 'em up. Because it's that, it's hardly side scrolling, you know. Yeah, it's more like two rooms, two adjoining room or, brawlers. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like every stage, every act is just one, like small segment yep. from like a final fight stage. Was yep. was there any like environmental things that were happening, like barrels and rain clouds and shit like that? I didn't I didn't see it in the no, little bit that, that I played. Either. Just just the bad uh, guys, right? Just yeah, just the back, just the yeah. mooks. Yeah, no healing items, no Mm-mm. like weapons you can pick up or anything like that. Which all, makes it all sound really boring. But <laughs> but <laughs> hear me out. So this game works with just two buttons, double yep. dragons. Well, kind of not double dragon style, but two buttons. Okay, I- NES double dragon. Um, there is no, j- there is no jump. So also, I'm not doing a good job <laughs> of selling this game. There is no jump. Um, but what you can do is, if you knock um, a guy down, you can pick him up by the ankles and you can swing him around. It is a good move. You it can swing him around move. and yep. you can throw him. Also, if you knock a guy down. You can kneel down over him, grab his head, and slam his head into the pavement. Oh. Also, if you knock a dude down, you can do fatal steps from River City Ransom. You can jump on his back. Doesn't kill him. Um, also, probably doesn't even really do a whole lot of damage, but you can do it. You got a punch. You got a kick. Both of those have three-hit combos, uh, which will knock an enemy down. You can take two guys and slam their heads together. You can do that. Yeah, Max- Venom oh, and cool. Maximum Carnage yeah. style, except your arms <laughs> don't stretch out. <laughs> so it's a little bit worse. Um, also, one of the bad guys in the game looks like Judge Mills Lane. So there is that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Hacksaw Jim Dugan. Yeah. Duggan Dugan. I don't, yeah. yeah Duggan. Don't know. Duggan. Duggan. With his big old lumber stick. Yeah. yeah. Fats <laughs> is his name. Fats. Can you guess his body type? B- bull- bullish, <laughs> <laughs> portly, F- yeah. familiar, yeah. little, little <laughs> <laughs> too close to home. <laughs> uh, he looks like. So, what did Jim Duggan Smells look like? like? Spam. <laughs> Smells like spam. He's shiny. What is so? What did Jim Duggan? Did he look like him, or was it just the fact that Fats has a giant uh, so, piece so of lumber? The, the thick middle, not like the love handles, but like that bowling ball gut. Yeah, like he kind of had that effect in the game, um, right? And then he had like the mullet. He looks like Gallagher from the he- neck yeah. up. Yeah, I think the guy in the game definitely had a little bit less hair on the top, uh, but he did have the mullet. You know, kind of the long hair party in the back, and then the big piece of fucking wood. So, um. Yeah, immediately. Like the wood, the wood did it though. It looks like he pulled it off of like a dock or it, something. It was not it's like a, a two big, by four. Like that over to Dave. Mike hacksaw oh, Jim this Duggan. Is hacksaw Jim the Duggan. Guy in the game had like a two by eight. You know that fucker was wide. This guy doesn't. This yeah, he doesn't. He has a small bit of wood. Yeah, this Jim Duggan. It wasn't. Guy. Yeah, it wasn't super long. Yeah, so I think the guy in the game is like probably bigger than than hacksaw would be in real life. 
I do like this one in, where he's in front of the American flag. <laughs> Fuck yeah. yeah. He kind of reminds me of Johnny Cage here a little bit. Yeah. Big Johnny Cage energy. <laughs> well, yeah, I think Fats definitely, like, they, they had to have been taking inspiration from, from I hope Jim so. Duggan. I hope so. And Gallagher. <laughs> Hexall Gallagher. Uh, and then you got the guys. So you got the Judge Mills Lane guys who look like garbage pail kids that became skinheads <laughs> as they grew up. <laughs> um, and then you also fight what I would consider like they look like Hell's Angels guys yep. with beer broken beer bottles that they yep. stab you with. Uh, you can eventually, like if you hit um, fats enough times, he drops his gigantic piece of lumber, which is really good. The fight becomes much easier once the lumber's gone because the lumber has like crazy reach. Like and the it's bosses insane. can, the fastest thing in the world is a boss on its combo in this game. The For way sure. they swing their big lumber or hammers <laughs> oh, or. Keep talking. Yeah. <laughs> <Swing> <laughs> Tomahawk lumber, swinging dude. that wide yeah. lumber around. Yeah. Yeah, wow. <laughs> well, I can hear it slapping on your thighs. <laughs> Sounds like a sumo wrestling event <laughs> going on. <laughs> but like, I don't, so, okay, so yeah, the bosses, the, they combo you relentlessly, and also like when they knock you down, they're like, I'm going to stand over you until you stand up, and when you stand up, I'm going to knock Immediately you over. Immediately smacked. Yep. So they're using like, Real player tactics is yep. what they're doing. But like if you try to do that to a boss, every single boss in the game has like a kick your balls shin kick, from the yeah. from the ground. Ball yeah. shin kick. Like yeah. And it's like it'll knock you down and then they will stand up. And then when you stand up, they will beat the shit out of you. Um that's that's a bit of a you know masochist kind of game right there. Like you just get your ass fucking beat. It's like <laughs> it's kind of like relentless <laughs> ass beating. Yeah. And uh you were you seemed like you you played the game for a little while, so you, maybe you like that kind of stuff. Sometimes I do. I'm like what you would call a switch, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I like to dish it yeah. out. Yeah. So, I mean. A little bit of both. There you yeah. You learn something it's about me. you, though. Yeah, you totally. Yeah. yeah. I, like, I bought Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection. It's absolutely within me. <laughs> I played the first level on Friday night for seven hours. And did not beat it. I was yeah. watching you run 100 deaths when yeah. I was watching. Yeah. Um, which means that... Uh, I need to work on it still. Yeah, yeah, but I do like I like I like that. Kind of yeah. like the, the the impossible dream or they they like you're just not gonna I don't know. It's about the journey and the 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 digging in and the finish you get there, you're like, eh, you know, I really just Right. Love just enjoyed things. doing it. Mm-hmm. I, I enjoyed like, investing yeah. a lot of time in this skill that is very, very specialized <laughs> yeah. and will not make me any money or anything. So yeah. hey on Twitch it might That is true. That is true. That yeah, I don't mean to don't mean to. Yeah, yeah. It did make me money. Twitch, <laughs> Twitch that. It, makes it, our it, dreams it, possible. It, it, did, it did make me money, so I take it back. No, it was great. <laughs> it's a very useful skill. <laughs> I used to play a game called, oh, God, it was on Miniclip. It was like those little, like, little free games online. It was called like Bar Fight or some shit like that. And it was just like you in a bar, and there's like a guy on a fucking player piano playing like, you know, old like, 1880s, like honky talk music. Some rag time. Yeah, and you've got like, you know, a punch, and like you just go through and fucking beat ass dude and like <laughs> like just get your ass beat and i was like yeah i just i do that for hours you know just like get yeah. lost smoke a bunch of weed yeah. <laughs> play bar brawl did, the, did combo tribes remind you of that a or? little bit yeah. yeah yeah like that kind of like oh man this is i'm just gonna be beating ass i'm getting my ass beat and i'm beating asses it is it it is a lot of fun when you get like I don't know. The, so I have fun with combo tribes when you kind of get you find these like loops right where it's like what I like about it is the strategy, which I know sounds fucking insane mm-hmm. for a beat em up, but I do no, honestly. There's absolutely strategy to beat em up. Beat em up. And I think a lot of people don't. I mean, even in the past, you and I have said, like, way back in the beginning, where it's like, I like beat em ups because you can play them very casually. You can just walk yeah. from left to right and just mash buttons. You can play them very casually, but you can't win them. Yeah, very you're casually. not going to get far. <laughs> yeah. So what I like about it is in this game, there's some strategy involved where it's like, okay, so I got a guy coming up on my left. And then, like, three guys on the right. So what I'm going to try to do is use my special move. Every character in the... All the three playable characters have a special move. I'm going to use my special move on the one guy on the left, knock him over while the three on the right advance. I'm going to grab this guy who's knocked down by his ankles and swing him around and knock everybody down on yep. the screen. 
And then I'm going to rush over to one of those guys, pick him up by the ankles, start spinning him around. So by the time everyone stands up, they all get hit by that. And then it kind of becomes this like fun game of like just trying to chain these. Whirlwind attack. Yeah. These, yeah. And cleave and all that. <laughs> trying to chain all these attacks and like trying to be like, not tactical is probably not the best word for it, but you know, like strategic. The perfect kill. Right. Exactly. Kills. That's that's what I liked about it, and also it's super it's super goofy, because oh also in that first stage um, I don't know if you guys realize this or not, but the first stage where you're fighting fat there is it's like on a New York street right, mm -hmm. and the background there's a restaurant. Did you notice that? Oh no, the there's a restaurant and there's a there's a name on that restaurant, and that name is Steak and Shake. <laughs> no way. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, the name is Steak and Shake. Uh, but wait, it gets better. Because uh, that was not the original name of the restaurant in the arcade version. They changed it to Steak and Shake. They changed it from Steak, uh, I believe it was Steak and Shake and Brew. And they were like, no, <laughs> brew's alcoholic. Take it out. Let's just name it after a real fucking restaurant. Let's just open ourselves for litigation. <laughs> right. And it's like, I don't know if anybody even from Steak and Shake in the 90s knew what a Super Nintendo was. <laughs> you know, like that probably didn't get the okay, home so office. Okay, you so were, you were at Steak and Shake in the 90s. Did you? Um, I worked there for like two years. Yeah, like 99, you know, right out of high school. The one here? No, no, no. Oh, okay. It's down in Florida. Okay. Um, yeah, because I was about to say I got to talk to you about because <laughs> like oh, ours was awful. Terrible, I, terrible. I, I have some complaints. Yeah, well, awesome. yeah. Awesome. from twenty one years ago. Yeah, I need fucking, I need some closure. The one, the one in Paducah <laughs> is awful. Oh yes, yeah, it's really awful. bad. Extraordinarily awful. Um, and I was all like, "Hey, Freddy's is here. That's like taking shape." But I worked be a better. lot of uh, graveyard no. shifts, third shifts, man, and I had a lot of fucking fun. A lot of. Um, a lot of sex, a lot of, <laughs> a, lot, yeah. a, lot, a lot, yeah. I stuck my so, dick in a lot so, of hamburger yeah. meat. <laughs> Fucking ha mayonnaise. They had that yellow dill pickle relish, man. That shit was good. They call that a hamdy. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, there's no managers around, and it's a bunch of, like, young, you know, teenagers, like, just... Y'all yeah. want to fuck? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, what do you think the walk-in's for? So yeah. you stay cool yeah. while you're fucking and, real and, hard. And then, and then I became a manager when I was like nine, 18, 19 years old, right? 19 years old. A lot more <laughs> pussy. I don't like <laughs> girls like the manager at Steak and Shake. is just like super desirable. Um, I think I when you I say think we've it, all fucked a Steak and Shake manager I, yeah, day. Yeah. 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 Coming yeah. up, you know, you got to do what you got to do, you know? You know For real. So what? Yeah. She's 45, lives in a fucking trailer. So what? I'm going to fucking hit that, dog. I got to move up. <laughs> She's a Steak and yeah, Shake manager. I'm with them good chips, son. I'm with them coupons. <laughs> <laughs> that's an that's a, that's a, import hub. That's a search yeah. term. You can find it's a category. Man with steak and Shake, shake coupons. Yeah. <laughs> steak and Shake. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know when we're done, you're just going to go right to Steak and Shake. <laughs> Buy some of those shitty fries. <laughs> uh, ugh. I L do. I, listen, I've always hated their fries. I hate shoestring fries. It's, it's, they're okay with a lot of salt. Though. Yeah, and they're hot. Everything. Yeah, it's fucking fre hot. freshly prepared by people who actually give a shit what they're doing or a manager who gives a shit about what these people are doing. Like, it could be fucking good. Anything could be great. Like, Stop fucking me for a second. I, I know. I know. I know. <laughs> No, for a was, second, was fuck, stop fucking fuck, me. During, during the fry making, we we would be in the drive like they had the drive through headsets, like ha having having uh, sex. Like, yeah, and we'll be right with you. <laughs> God, has anyone ever in the drive through been like, I know what you're doing, and I want in. <laughs> Let me in, or I'm gonna tell your manager right? who you think I'm fucking. <laughs> I am the manager, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> fat, 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 fat. Uh, uh, yeah, good times, man. And, and I, like, I like the fucking chili, man. Chili's my thing. I was. Um, they do have pretty good chili. Anywhere I go, I, got, I have to fries. order the chili. I don't like. I don't care if I'm hungry. I don't care if I'm in the fucking mood. It could be 100 degrees outside. They got fucking chili on the menu. I'm fucking getting it. And that's how I kind of like judge. Like, well, yeah, this place might be halfway decent. You know, chili's kind of like the, the barometer, litmus like, test. Yeah, like, like, hey, what the fuck is going on in here? Okay, yeah, maybe I'll check something else out. What are your thoughts on Wendy's chili? Um, good. Yep. A very unenthusiastic, a brilliant good. use of product. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, good. If you um, were to give it, like, a grade. I would say, like, a six. A yeah, six? One, one out of ten, you know, I'd give it a six. Okay, a six. Okay. Steak and shakes, I mean, okay, for non-home uh, recipe, like, 
that's like a I think so. that's like a nine. For that's me. really good. I like the chili. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, skyline chili. Eat a big fat oh, dick. Oh, God. Yeah, skyline chili is skyline not chili. good. Gross. Gross. Mealy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. like TVP, it's almost like, like manwich, but cocoa yeah. and oh, cinnamony. Yeah. No, let's yeah. not do manwich. No. Um, trying to think of some other chains like Texas Roadhouse chili. It's okay. Oh, I, never I had always theirs. get the runs. You yeah, know, I always get the fucking shits. That's also a good like litmus test too. Like, go back. No, I fuck that. Like it's like as a chef, you know, like time and temperature and you know, bacteria is not not a cool thing. You know, I'm like oh, cool bacteria, let it go. Nice. <laughs> Let's see what happens, man. Like, no, uh, yeah, you get the shit. Yeah, you leave that chili out all night. Yeah, we're gonna have yeah. it. We're the gonna fucking manager back there, fucking <laughs> one of the waitresses. You know, or he, he's not watching the fucking cooks for the certain ass cold ass old ass chili. <laughs> <laughs> man, you were spitting for a yeah. minute. I love yeah. that. Oh, sorry. I gotta, I this motherfucker spit. <laughs> 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 Never in my life. Have Cold air. That. <laughs> Man, that was awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, so get the shits. I get the shits often, though. But you know what? I'm about to say, I, I, I could an, be able to I, tell. I anticipate them. <laughs> yeah. And I don't shy away. <laughs> oh. Finger on chin. You lean into pensive, it? Pensive mm-hmm. look. I do fucking yeah. lean in. I lean in hard. I'm like, yeah, dude, I want that fucking shit to fucking run right through me. <laughs> I want to fucking sweat like I'm about to shit myself. God, if I have to cork it. You know, when you got to cork a fucking like diarrhea shit, it's like shit is like. <laughs> Uh, uncomfortable. <laughs> like you're like, oh god. And you get this like and then that, that but that release, you know, like, oh god. Mm-hmm. Finally I, I'm, hate, I'm, I hate that I'm, release. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking you made hate it. it. You don't no. need the diarrhea edge no, where you just hold it. it. No, like, it's like, and you can't get your belt loop no, out and your fucking zipper down. You're like, oh fuck, fuck, fuck. I, I fuck. hate it. I hate it, and I'll tell you why. If you've ever used a stencil and paint, yes, you know exactly yes. why. Because I'm, like, I'm gonna stand up from this toilet and it's like I'm just gonna have a perfect circle. <laughs> on, on my ass <laughs> because when I sat but, down and it went <laughs> like I mean that's that's definitely on me so, <laughs> dude, but you stand up and look at it like I gotta see what what kind of what I did how much damage did I do how'd I do daddy yeah. <laughs> do do me, daddy I done did some damage <laughs> let me and then, see and then you take out your phone and like I gotta take a picture oh. of this my wife is gonna love this shit <laughs> <laughs> put a filter on it yeah. okay <laughs> look it's got wings it's kawaii <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, but I definitely look, and um, and maybe that's what it is. It's just like the visual, and then you're like, and if I'm getting fucking technical and specific, there is a more Please. acidic <laughs> Oof, tingle, yep, yep. Um, to the aroma. <laughs> um, and I guess it's maybe that's yeah. like a digestive moment, of bile, whatever the fuck is yeah. in there, you know, whatever it is. Like, mm-hmm. oh shit, your body's got to kill that fucking dirty, shitty fucking <laughs> bacteria. Yeah, that the Texas Roadhouse Get chili, let out. fucking just <laughs> fucking breed into unsafe. <laughs> <laughs> contaminated levels. Yeah. I'll have uh, what he's having. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then like in the next stall, we're both fucking sweating. And you just hear that like. <gasps> oh, you got, yeah. oh, you released yeah. it at the Texas Roadhouse. Yeah. Oh, it's not when you get home. Shot Dude, who shot a paint gun in the bathroom? <laughs> 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 you got an airsoft in there? <laughs> Bye-bye, call the cops. <laughs> uh, no, Someone you, tip out a bucket no, of Gatorade. But, but usually, <laughs> no. you usually know within like the half hour. You're like, you're getting in the car, you've paid the, the check, and you're like, yeah. oh, we're gonna go to fucking whatever Girl. Coles or something. You're Girl. like, oh shit, <laughs> Coles, Coles ain't gonna like me. <laughs> Coles but is usually pretty clean. To have right, diarrhea, yeah, we had diarrhea anywhere. Coles is actually a pretty good place. Coles is. For, I like Coles. That's where I always yeah, eat Chick Fil A like, in their parking lot. Yeah, like, like, uh, <laughs> like Dollar Tree. I was in there the other day. I had to take a fucking piss, uh, and they don't even have a fucking bathroom. Uh, so you know. Um, or like fucking, oh, I'm trying to think of like the worst. It is surplus sales on Park Avenue. Books a million used <laughs> yeah, to have like the, the forgotten worst bathroom. bathroom. Books the a million. Bathrooms. million. It's better than it was, but man, it was. At least it was entertaining. Awful. Yeah, <laughs> there are a lot the, of things to read. What kind of racist Sanskrit yeah. will I see today? Yeah, <laughs> it was like Books a Million was like you went to the bathroom of Books a Million and you were like transported to like a truck stop. It's like a nice retail area. You go in, you go through this. Oh, excuse me, man, where's the bathroom? It's right back there. Okay, great. You go through this clean little area and you open this clean little door and you go in this little foyer area and it's like you turn you open the door and it's like the door just like creeps <laughs> <laughs> and it's got that light that's just kind of like flashing I'm in Silent Hill yeah. <laughs> a single light swinging violently from the ceiling it's like every person who now 
gets fucking bent out of shape and throws a fit about wearing a mask. Yeah. Had the same reaction going into the Books a Million <laughs> bathroom where it said, please do not bring merchandise to the bathroom. God damn it, fucking my freedom. I'm going to tell you what I fucking think on this fucking bathroom wall. Fucking control me, fucking sheeple. I'm going to have my book in my bag. I'm going to fucking read this shit. Fuck Books a Million. <laughs> Blood and crips and folk <laughs> and fuck. He carved like 300 words on the bathroom door. Yeah. <laughs> They're all fucking dead. There's a yeah. star of David, but it's got <laughs> only three prongs or some shit. <laughs> oh, man. That's like the star of Dave. That's <laughs> cash. It's, it's cash. Star, it's star of Dave. It yeah. looks like a Star Trek insignia. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too lazy to finish it. <laughs> <laughs> so that little bit of excitement, you know, you just you just seek it out sometimes. You know, I am gonna roll the dice. Live on the edge. <laughs> yeah. Come in, Louise. Okay. Come on. So once you get yeah. through the steak and shake level <laughs> yeah. in Comba Tribes, uh, which I do have the actual uh, the actual name of that now. The in the original arcade it's version, like Motorhead Nuclear Warheads. Uh, God, I wish it was uh, Steak and Brew Burger. Was the name of the restaurant? Steak and brew burger. But they took brew out because they thought it would be like alcohol, and kids would like get drunk playing the game. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Well, they're fucking go after GTA Five now, right? Saying it's responsible for carjackings going up. I heard that. Yeah. The only time you'll ever hear me say this: Why can't Antonin Scalia still be alive? Because he was the one who stomped that shit out last time. It's the only thing I'll praise that man for. But man, he he fucking went on the <laughs> greasy muck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. I mean, but let's be honest. I haven't played a Grand Theft Auto in a long time. If those go I've away, I've never played one. I don't care. I just hate this fucking <laughs> bullshit weird ass censorship that he's popping up every now and then. Yeah, like, not here. Video games are fucking responsible. They've been riding that GTA Five like train for a long <sighs> shit. time. Yeah. They've been milking yeah. that game. Yeah. So long that I don't even want to like touch it because yeah, it's just me, like me too. And I liked <laughs> I liked Grand Theft Auto games for the longest time. Like I think Vice, I loved Vice City. I played the the hell out of Vice City mm-hmm. when it came out. But I also had the time to like dick around. Like that is a game where it's just the fun. It's just fun to dick around in. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know, man. I've just got a different mindset now where it's just kind of like I guess if I'm gonna dick around in a game, it's probably gonna be one that's like. I don't know, or am I Viking or something? <laughs> I mean, Dick lo- around, chop some wood, right. you know. I mean, look, if I really wanted to be a criminal, I could do that. <laughs> but if I... If but I played enough GTA 5, I think I want to. All right. Shit, <laughs> Shit <man>. fuck. <laughs> but, I'm going to go kill a... I'm going to get a prostitute, <laughs> fucking pay her, and then kill her and get my money back. But look, dude, I can want to be a Viking as much as I fucking want. That ain't going to happen. So I might as well play Valheim. Yep. <laughs> And get griefed by friends instead of randos <laughs> on the internet. That it's much better. <laughs> yeah. It's much better. Darn. So once you clear the steak and shake level, you go to Coney Island. And this is in Combat Tribes, by the way, the game we're talking about. Uh-huh. Um, it, once you beat Fats, he's like, I don't know, go ask the demon clowns. They might know about Ground Zero. Right. And you're like, that's normal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and where are we going to find demon clowns? Oh, Coney Island? Okay. <laughs> Of course. So, yeah, you fight the Joker and John Wayne Gacy's. Uh Uh, John Wayne Gacy's attack you with juggling pins and uh, Joker's, which are totally like Cesar Romero Joker. Like, I mean, it is is like... They're just missing the facial hair covered up by the white paint. (laughs) Totally. Yeah, (laughs) totally. But, I mean, it is like if DC was what DC is now, like, this game would probably be sued into fucking dust (laughs) because (laughs) the Joker is in this game. (laughs) The Joker and Karnov. And Karnov, (laughs) yes. The Data East mascot, Karnov, is back. Um, in circus form. Yep. Because, yeah, he's breathing fire and um, doing those Fucking hated him. Spin Fucking hated jumps. him. God. So you beat him in his little top knot, mm-hmm. and uh, then you he tells you to go to the roller derby. Yes. Uh, he mm-hmm. tells you that their boss is a woman, and to go to Lexington King. Uh, which, which, I mean, they already know this from the comic strip. They already know all this information. No, in the instruction manual. Mm, yeah, they just yeah. read for once. <laughs> <laughs> Crack open a book, berserker. It's, it's like Robin Hood, uh, Men in Tights, whenever he loses. Wait a minute. I'm not supposed to lose. <laughs> Let me see the script. Right. See, it says right here, I'm not supposed to lose. Did you say Abe Lincoln? 
<laughs> Sorry. Anytime. That's where I go to. Anytime Minnetites is brought up. So, yeah, Lexington, the, the Lexington King. Uh, there are a bunch of roller I know derbists. a certain king named Lexington. That's <laughs> yeah. About it. yeah. Uh, who also has a big hammer, uh, <laughs> which you're yep. attacked with <laughs> when you fight the boss of this level. Named Trash. Trash. <laughs> In quotes, even when they're talking. Right. Trash. Trash, <laughs> trash uh, looks like, um, kind of like Lisa Simpson a little bit. Uh, but with pink hair instead yep. of yellow hair, yep. and Trash has a big hammer, a ball. Yeah, that they swing really super mm. fast, and um, they'll knock you over and then stand over your body. And, and when the you derby girls going back and forth on the roller skates, they're whipping it. Yeah, yep. yep. Need to find you a good roller derby girl to beat Dude, your ass. Yeah, they're, fuck yeah. yeah, you're on yeah. it, man. They're fucking like a little sexy. Drew Barrymore or something. The straight ones, you know, punching the face. I mean, maybe some of the the. Yeah, it doesn't matter whichever. Yeah. Uh, a lesbian roller derby girl is can be sexy too. Yeah, that's sure. It's less sexy because you know I got you know. <laughs> so the same doesn't mean you can't be friends. Absolutely not. But yeah. she might punch you in the face if you're good enough friends. <clears throat> and I mean, you know, friends help each out each other out from time yeah. to time, right, Tyler? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we were going to talk about that, but yeah, we Uh-oh. Were I haven't heard this one. Um, <laughs> Yeah, you have. You've been here a few days. You've, been, <laughs> you've seen it. You've been part of it. What are you talking about? Okay, yeah. <laughs> I, I know. Yes, and Casey. Yes, and. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> roller girl though, like I mean, so like roller derby, roller yeah. girl. I'm into um, it. Yeah, I'm into it. I like it. On, but I'm sure they never do. Like they do what? Then they're skates, with, skates on. Skates on? Out, I'm trying to beat all these other bitches' asses. I'm like, I'm gonna fuck you with my skates on. No, <laughs> fuck you, Casey. <laughs> well, I don't know. I bet, I bet that'd be a thing. I don't know. Probably. Just pull the little shorts how, down. Have how, sex with the skates on. Yeah. Oh. Put skates on their hands. So you. Oh yeah. yeah. Just roll, wheelbarrow just roll, that bitch. Just roll it around. <laughs> Doggy style wheelbarrow. Yeah. yeah. Two in a new position. Yeah. You can it's set a up roller a roller hole. Yeah. It's great. yeah. You can set up a net. Make a game out of it. I'm gonna yeah. get you in that net if they're if they're into that. Yeah. Or, if oh, they, yeah. or if they want you to be on all fours, it's whatever. Right? Yeah, yeah. You give a little, get a lot. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> what well, you beat trash, and then trash says, "Go to the stadium. They'll tell you everything." Right. Mm. And then you go to the stadium. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And then you fight uh, Judge Mills Lane again. There's yep. a whole bunch of those. They've cloned them. <laughs> they've, they've got it down to a science. Yep. If you need a crime solved, which is a thing he doesn't do, uh, <laughs> they, they got one on call. Uh, and then you fight a giant Native American. Yep. Or an who's indigenous never lost. person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who's never lost? Yeah, that's what, oh. it, this is what he says. I've never, I'll tell you everything if you beat me, but I've never lost. Oh, right. I kind of skipped through dialogue <laughs> pretty fast. <yeah. laughs> uh, and then you do beat him. Yep. Uh, he's Which I a, didn't. This is where okay. I lost. Was so I was curious, like in Casey, you brought this up that it has like the Warriors vibes to yep. it, where it's Absolutely. like different gangs with yep. like different like yep. different like features, and different stuff. costumes, you Themes. know, different vibes. Yeah, yeah. You know, and they kind of got their own little kind of beliefs and leaders and bosses. Yeah, it's, the visual imagery in the movie like struck me and it definitely picked it up. Was there like? Do you feel like they lifted? A, like, was there so like the the guy you fight in the stadium? Mm-hmm. His name is Windwalker. Yep. Like, is there a Windwalker in um, Legend of the, Zelda? Yeah. The warrior. Yeah, right. I'm sure there's something the equivalent of. Yeah, there's, okay. there's lots of kind of you know each each gang of whatever nine or ten guys or maybe a few less. Like they have their like their mouthpiece guy. You know, uh-huh. and, and yeah, there was there was some characters. So if you haven't seen it, I need to rewatch it. Actually, maybe we should do that. Um, Smoke some weed. There's a game too. There's a Warriors game. Yeah, I've heard. I think that's a Rockstar game, and I've heard it's pretty good actually. Hmm. PS2 era. Yeah, yeah. Um, Just really, really cool. So once you beat Windwalker, Mm -hmm. uh, he tells you to go to the 1991 building. I think it is (laughs) right, and then you go there. Uh, and you fight all the bosses again, uh, but it's okay. It's it's kind of okay because it's like each time you beat a boss and you get on the elevator to go. Up, so there's a boss on each floor. Uh, each time you beat a boss and you get on the elevator, your life is restored. So at, at least there's there's something there's okay. that. Yeah, it's better than Act Razor. Yeah. Oh God, that 
that boss great rush game, and act great razor, game until the fucking boss gauntlet. Honestly, I think great game until that world tree level, which is this like kind of the worst platforming in the world. Mm. And then so it's like I remember getting through that and being like, oh thank God that's over. And then it's like boss, there's a there's a boss <laughs> gauntlet that you have to get through. <laughs> yep. And uh, we don't let you heal or anything. Ugh, ugh. <laughs> God. Uh, but yeah, you fight your way up. You fight all the bosses again. And then you get to uh, Aryan M. Bison, which yeah. is only kind of half a joke. <laughs> uh, because in, uh, in the Super Nintendo game, he introduces himself as Colonel David. And it's uh. like, okay, Colonel David. All right. Uh, he's obviously a cyborg. He's wearing like SS gear, but it's like all blue. Uh, and his name on like his health bar is M Blaster. Uh, but in the in the arcade version, uh, his name was uh, Swastika. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, his name was Swastika. Um, <laughs> his name Lieutenant Bad Guy. Yeah. So his name was Swastika, and that was a real thing. Uh, and so I think, like, in the SNES version, they were, like, going, like, the extra mile. And they're like, I am Colonel David. You know, like, the star of. <laughs> <laughs> I am definitely not a Nazi, but I am a cyborg. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't all Nazi cyborgs, though? <laughs> That's a tr tricky question. Yeah. This tricky is just the Wolfenstein world. We haven't, scientists haven't been able to study them yet. That's true. <laughs> Every time they get one in a lab, they just turn into gelatin. <laughs> like a little <laughs> Alex Mack syndrome. G chemical, what, GC-161? Got it fucking everywhere? I don't know. Kyle XY. I don't know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens after you, you beat Colonel David? Well, Colonel David, by the way, is like Inspector Gadget because he has Makes like sense. titty rockets. Uh, <laughs> as Inspector oh, Gadget was yes. known to launch. Uh, yeah. Uh, go, go, Gadget. <laughs> titty, titty rockets. <laughs> Penny, Would grab you? onto my giant telescopic <laughs> cock that I'll use to knock people down when I'm on the ground. Because he does that. <laughs> uh, and then he's got a he's got like his hand will turn into a blade and it'll mm -hmm. shank you. So yeah. But you do beat him eventually. Oh, by the also he's like, hey, guys with guns, guys with uh, ARs, come in and help yeah. me. Final and level gun syndrome. They do yeah. that, yeah. And then uh, they shoot you uh, a lot. And uh, But if you get past through all of them, you go up to the roof and you meet... Um, Martha Ma Splatterhead. Martha Splatterhead. Mm -hmm. uh, who, who I've read in every video that I listen to that she is so broken, yeah. OP. Yeah. She, um, she, you, so you get on the roof and then you see her and she's... Immediately Super Saiyan. Like, her blonde hair is just like, like, Tara Esper form. Like, I mean, she's going nuts. She's super fast in her little mini skirt. She jumps down and just starts, like, she'll kick, right? And it's like, her actual reach is so, it's, it's hard to fight her because, like, you can't tell how far she can reach. Because she'll kick, and her foot definitely does not connect with you, but, like, electricity shoots out of it. And that uh, electricity will will hurt you. Yep. And she is so fast that she starts flipping around you, and it is just like, oh my fucking god, please <laughs> stand still, bitch. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah, she's moving everywhere, and it's so hard to it's so hard to to get her. Mm -hmm. And there are so many there are like extra corners in that level because there's like that there's like I don't know what you call that like little overhang on top of buildings where you, you know the stairwell comes out, but she can push you oh, okay. up against that. And like knock you up against it, you'll hit it and fall. You'll get up. She'll do it again, and it's just like oh, you're well, caught in a loop until yeah. she finds mercy. But she's a cyborg, and then you hit her for the last time, and then uh, the screen goes black, and then um, the three main characters: Berserker, Belova, Blitz. Blitz. Thank you. Um, they have a little scene where, like, they're talking to her, and she's like, thank you. I didn't mean to do it. And they're like, it's okay. And then they pick her up, and they carry her into the sun. Because she was their old, like, buddy. 
Mm-hmm. She was her. She was her old cyborg buddy. In the arcade game, they just leave her there. Yeah, <laughs> because it's a, because it's a very different game. You're not cyborgs in the arcade game. Yeah, I feel like Nintendo of America was like, look, we got to change steak and brew burger to steak and shake. We got to change all the blood so it looks like cum. Uh, also, because like when you beat Windwalker. It totally looks like he's angry dragoned all over the fucking place because they just <laughs> took the sprite and they're like, just make all the all like his bloody nose, just make it white. It's fine. <laughs> it's it's fine if it's not red. Just just make it white. Make it white. Kids won't know it's come. It's fine. <laughs> Nintendo of America won't know it's come. <laughs> Those guys don't even know what come looks know, like. They don't even know what come is. <laughs> yeah. Repressed puritanical Americans. <laughs> Let's change swastika. They've never seen it because it's in their wives of 40 years. They don't know what it looks like. <laughs> let's change. Yeah, it's, all been, it's always been pixel mosaic. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, let's, change, <laughs> let's change swastika to M Blaster. Uh, and also. Um, I just freaked myself out. Like, is there somebody out there who was so religiously trained? They did not masturbate nothing until they got married, and they've strictly only ejaculated into their wives during coitus. So they have no idea what comes out of them, what it looks like, how much of it is it, what it's just the feeling that happens when you're having sex with your godly ordained partner. That's yeah, I feel like yeah, there's probably a six percent of, of the population. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. I don't know what I would do if I didn't know what come look like. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Lord. Thank you for blessing me with the knowledge and knowing what cum looks with like. the sight. Something I call the sight. <laughs> it smells like, I don't know what it tastes like, though. <laughs> only, every, only, only every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> only by accident, like one time right. when I was like little, yeah. like I didn't really know any better, got a man like a little bit, then I had to scratch my mouth, and got there, like a, just like a little, little bit. <laughs> <laughs> only, only sometimes when I've been cranking it for like three hours, and then it just kind of goes everywhere, and a little bit got on my lip, but I didn't mean for it to. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I'm not going to leave that off, and then like my lip, it itched, and I was, I was like, I was like, oh, no, 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 We've all been there. <laughs> <laughs> One like violent spurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> you know, when you've been at it as long as I have and you come in your own face, you just got to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. What if you get on, the, on your glasses? Then you're wearing glasses, then you can fucking see it. <laughs> you see it just kind of like slowly sludging down. Dave doesn't need to wear glasses. Neither do I. <laughs> this, is this, is <laughs> this is just for cum. This is just for cum. This is a safe work area. <laughs> but I do not let Melissa wear glasses. <laughs> So yeah, in the arcade version, they just leave her there because she's a cyborg and they're not. Because the story is completely different. Yep. They're all cyborgs in the Super Nintendo game because you can kill cyborgs and it's fine. Give it the turtle treatment. Like foot soldiers, they're all robots. Right, yeah, exactly. And this was also 1992, so it's like the Super Nintendo had been out for like a year. A year, yeah. Uh, and the game kind of looks like it. It feels like an early, yeah. It, it does, and it looks like a... It looks like a up <laughs> NES game. Yeah. It does. And I don't mean that in a bad way. It's just the truth. I like how it looks. It has a charming appeal. Uh, and I feel like it's kind of got like a, a little bit of a River City Ransom feel. Um, because River yep. City Ransom, of course, is based on Renegade. It does. Uh, especially with like, so every character, all, all the three main characters have a special move. And the one that feels more like River City Ransom to me is Belova. Uh, because he's got this like running punch. And like, yeah. what's great about the running punch and the special moves and the move where you pick up guys by the ankles and throw them, the entire animation, you're invincible. So it is like the best way to stay uh, alive because they can't hurt you as long as you're doing those things. Oh, yeah, because yeah. during blitzes or um, berserkers moves, yeah, oh, you're not invincible. Berserkers <laughs> fucking sucks. Yep. It's a little tiger knee. Yep. It's like the worst. It's kitten knees more, <laughs> more like yeah. it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you know, that, that tiger knee so so weak, we call it the kitten knee. <laughs> so tender. <laughs> <laughs> It's more like a tender kid kisses. <laughs> You're a lamb, right? You ever had a little baby tiger? <laughs> Make your milkshake. I love it. Uh, it's like the one that, what's his name? Doc Antle? That oh, pulls God. out pulls out to molest girls? Like that's, <laughs> that's the version of the tiger knee that, <laughs> that Berserker has. The Antle knee. 
My aunt told me, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then you've got um, Blitz, who has like a Liu Kang kind of stuff. He doesn't, he doesn't have a long kick. kick. It's more yeah. effective, but you can get hit during it. Like Right. Yeah, they can punch you out of the sky. Yep. <laughs> That's a thing that they can totally <laughs> Easily. <do>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they will. Uh, yep. That's it, I feel like. Couple That's tribes. It. So, um... It was a nice, it was a nice respite. wasn't a wasn't a terrible game. I think it just it was clearly a very early entry. I can't I can't mm-hmm. fault it for just being uh, a new port on a very new system. I think it's I think it's okay. I liked it a lot. Um, I do want to play the arcade game because I want to see. Mm. I've never played it, and I want to see like all the things that they changed. There's a stage that's missing from the SNES oh. game. And like so, like in the SNES game, you kind of know, like based on the ad and the instruction manual, that Martha is the boss. But in the arcade game, you don't know that. You think it's like this, this like kingpin looking mob boss, right? And so you're chasing him through all the stages. And that rooftop where you fight Martha in the Super Nintendo game, instead of that fight happening, there's a helicopter on the roof of the building. And you see that mob boss get in that helicopter and fly off. And that's where you fight. SS and Bison. Uh, okay. So once you fight him, you go to the docks, and you're on the docks, and you fight your way all through the docks, and then you get to the the end, and there's this limousine, right? And the mob boss steps out of it, and he's fucking huge, this kingpin looking dude, uh, and he looks like he's about to kick your ass, and then all of a sudden his fucking guts shoot out of his body. Wow. He falls over, and you see the window of the limousine has been blasted out, and then fucking Martha steps out. And then it's kind of like this reveal where it's like, that's the boss. And then she fucking kicks your ass all over the place. <laughs> so it's kind of got like, it kind of sucks that the SNES version got like as gutted as it did. Yeah. Because like, I really, I was, when I was streaming this, I was thinking like, man, I wish this would have come out on the Genesis. Because if it had come out on the Genesis, mm-hmm. we got all the buttons we need. You know what I mean? It's like, yep. we don't need, we got, all we need is two buttons, so we're good. Genesis got one extra. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we, all this blood and all this, like, cool stuff would, would be in it. Yep. But then again, I guess if you don't like the gore, then you can play the Super Nintendo version that has come in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it makes a, yeah. that lines up. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, sir, I would like to buy Combat Tribes. Are you a lover or a fighter? <laughs> <laughs> Both? Two X. Yeah. <laughs> right. So yeah, I liked it a lot. Um Tyler, it's been a long time since we've done segments. It has. It has. Uh Tyler. Do you have any achievements? Oh yeah, I guess I do. <laughs> <laughs> I got some achievements that came in from Twitch chat. Well, you gotta get back in the swing of this, man. I'm I'm rusty. Uh I've got a few achievements that came in from Twitch chat. Uh the first of which is clown check. <laughs> yeah. And what, this came in from uh one Ken a cat. <laughs> uh, look at this blue fucking dog that's where you look at the blue fucking dog <laughs> in order to unlock clown check uh i'm sorry clown check that's how you say it right it is okay yeah. you beat the ever living shit out of the clowns in level two uh and that one came in from kana i absolutely wanted to include it because of tadpog lore existing tadpog lore <laughs> <laughs> uh, second achievement I've got is called uh, Ginkgo Bilova. Uh, in order to unlock <laughs> Ginkgo Bilova, uh, you memorize all of the combo moves for Bilova. Uh, and that comes in from Edgelord mm-hmm. Kyle. And then the last one I have is I swear that's never happened to me before. Uh, in order to unlock I swear that's never happened to me before, you make Fats lose his big wood in the first boss fight. <laughs> <laughs> and that came in from Plinko Nick. Uh, do you guys have any achievements? Uh, I've got one. Okay. Play as him and fucking die berserker. <laughs> nice. Play as berserker and die because he's he sucks. Yeah. You think yeah. he'd be the best? Yeah, he's like he's, the title character. Yeah, the yeah. first. Yeah, he's the one in he's front. He's the titular character. He's seven foot one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Blue guile. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Yeah, which is also interesting because Kana on Discord uh, pointed out uh, that this game came out before Street Fighter Two. So it's like in Bison, Guile, mm-hmm. like it's kind of one of those where it's like, no, they weren't, they weren't, that game wasn't out in the arcade yet. So, but, but yeah, a little bit. But I guess Fist of the North Star and Nazis existed. No, so that's, true. that's probably where <laughs> that's they got also those. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Tyler. Yes, Dave. 
I had a lot of fun. Yeah, this has been, been this has been good. This is I feel like this has been a good return. Um, I have a few questions for you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, if you were to give this game a pair of glasses mm-hmm. or a beard, we do beards. It's been a long time since we've done. I think this. it's beards first, Tyler. Mm-hmm. I'm going to cut all that out. Don't worry, no one's going to hear the mistake. <laughs> <laughs> if you were to give this game a beard mm-hmm. that sums up how you feel about it, what kind of beard would you give it, and also, it's so fucking weird that it only took three weeks for me to forget how we do this show. <laughs> We've been doing it for ten years now. <laughs> wow. Oh, also, speaking of how many years we've been doing this show, this is episode six hundred. Happy anniversary! <laughs> Happy right. anniversary! What beard would you give it? <laughs> the uh, the medium length blondish brown beard of one hacksaw Jim Duggan. Oh, okay. There yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. I feel like that's a good beard. It does, it fits. What era of wrestling was he? Like early eighties? Yes. It looked like 80s. it from the photos. Yeah. It looked like eighties wrestling, yeah. I not nineties. You know, WWF. Past like ninety two, I don't think he was wrestling. Anymore. He was not in the attitude era of WWF. Yeah. 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 What era was, say, I'm just gonna name so you Casey, before we started recording, you mentioned uh Roddy Rowdy Piper. Yep. Was that like the same era as I think so. Okay. Yep. Jim Duggan. Okay. All right. I'm learning things. Ric Flair, because Ric Flair is also from that era. Okay. Yeah. And, and maybe even earlier. He's been around forever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I, I... He's still melting. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> 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 Just like Icarus. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler. Yes, Dave. If you were to give this game a pair of glasses... What kind of glasses would you give? The oracular, circular, blue eye paint of one Doink the Clown. Doink? Also a wrestler of that era. Yep. I've heard that name before. Oh, that era? Yep. Wow. He was a big, goofy, looked like one of those clowns wrestlers. Big, fat wrestler. Man. And he had a whole squad of... Um, little clowns. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You know, so speaking of like all these wrestlers, right? And like I saw the photo of Jim Duggan and you talking about uh, Doink being mm-hmm. like a big fat clown uh, reminded me of like how interesting it is to go back and watch shit from like when we were young children, mm-hmm. like not the 90s. But like the eighties, yeah. And before be like, we fully come online, right? Yeah. And yep. like watch yep. it and be like, "What are they doing with these people? <laughs> on the t- is this British television? <laughs> what are all these? What I don't understand. No one's cut." <laughs> and it's like I was watching yeah. old Family Feud, and it's just like, "Oh my god, none of these people have good teeth. Like none of them, <laughs> none of them do. Not a one of them." The host has a mullet. Yeah, it's and it's, he's five two. <laughs> <laughs> he's a puppet. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like someone Steve Harvey should be operating. Is this world police? I don't understand. <laughs> that would be. I would watch. I would love to watch like a uh, a Matt and Trey uh, family feud where it's done with those fucking puppets. Yes. The yeah. marionettes. Yeah. From Team America. Oh God, yes. <laughs> oh man, count me in. Yeah, when Steve Harvey says I'm done with this shit, they need to they need to do that. All right, we're gonna pay, get all the words <laughs> you've said and redo this with marionette. Right, <laughs> we're gonna cut it all together. <laughs> but they're real. The people, the contestants are real people, <laughs> and they cannot acknowledge that the host is a puppet. <laughs> so it's a giant marionette, Steve Harvey. No, no, small. Who moves around the stage. <laughs> okay. no, no, it's really small. <laughs> Very hard to see. It's 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 terrible to shoot. Because <laughs> they still have to be 40 feet above the stage with these long strings controlling the little puppet. <laughs> oh, man. You, do you think anyone has like a Steve Harvey ventriloquist dummy that they've made in the garage? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... He put strings on a sex doll, sure, and called a puppet. I I feel like that is something. If like six percent of the population doesn't know what cum looks like, like adults, because obviously you know, kids. Six from the adult population. Most kids that don't know. could <laughs> anyone who could know what cum looks right, like and doesn't. Right. If six percent of the population is there, then one person probably has a Steve Harvey ventriloquist dummy that they made. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. They reenact the feud. <laughs> <laughs> episode for episode shooter in their basement. Yeah. Yeah, and you thought this podcast was weird. 
<laughs> the Steve Harlequin <laughs> version. Uh, where were we? What were we doing? Recording a podcast? Um, I don't know. I'm kind of curious about how much this game might be. Tyler, if you were to buy this game right now, mm-hmm. the Combat Tribes on the SNES, how much do you think? <sighs> Loose. See, I feel like this would be a slightly harder to find. $21. Casey, what do you think, man? If you were to go buy this right now, how much would it be? $27. $27. Actual retail value of the Combat Tribes, loose for the Super Nintendo, on average, according to PriceCharting.com, at the time of this recording, is $29.62. Oh. I have this on my eBay watch list because nice. I do want to buy this game. Yep. Uh, but I do want to get a good deal on it. No one paid $30 for it. <laughs> I'll pay 20 <laughs> yeah, all right. With, good. Including shipping. <laughs> so if anybody out there wants to sell it to me, let me know. <laughs> Do you guys, uh, does this game belong on Tadpog's Top 100? Do I think, I feel like that's the question to get this on the list. That's your, that's your bar. That's my bar. See, I've already gotten Final Fight off the list, because Final Fight 3 is like oh, the best Final okay. Fight game is on the Is this Nintendo. better than Final Fight 3? No, but I don't think Final Fight 3 is at the bottom of the list. At least for me, it's not. Yeah. Final Fight 3 is like probably top 15 for me. Is on this Super better than Super Turrican 2? I think that it is. Yeah. Is this better than Sparkster? Yeah. <laughs> it is. It is better than Sparkster. At no point did I have to turn this game off in frustration. Is it better than Uniracers? Oh, I feel like it's on par. I, I'm, see, I'm with you. I yeah, feel like it's, it's on, is on it par. Better than Tiny Toons, Buster Bust Loose, the no. best football game for the Super Nintendo? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> All right, that's fair. So it sounds like the game might be on the list. Maybe. 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 Okay. There aren't really, I mean, there are a ton of side scrolling beans. It is not a genre. That I feel is well represented on that on that. Not list. on the Super Nintendo, mm-hmm. or or yeah, or on, on IGN's, IGN's list. list, yeah, for sure. Yeah, we've talked about it before. Where I mean, Final Fight was just put on the list at the 100 spot attention. because it's yeah yep. to get attention. It's a game that yeah, pretty I guess much there's a side scrolling you know shoot 'em up in Sunset Riders ranked much higher, but yeah, I can't think of that thing we did. Yeah, funny how that works. Yeah, yeah. the the human <laughs> memory is very, weird, very weird thing, isn't it? Yeah. Um, speaking of the memory, the human memory failing, uh, there's also a versus mode in this game. Yeah. But it's super tacked on, and that's probably why we didn't talk about you it. You get passwords in the game that unlock fighters for it. Right. So all the bosses All the and bosses, the yeah. yeah. And um, I'm glad you're on board with the mooks. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, it was the moops. moops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> it says the moops. Uh <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, the, I tried the fighting game for a little bit and was like, this is horrible. I don't, it like, but see, okay, so what was the name of that? What was Battle Blade? Was that the name? Battle Blaze. Of, Battle Blaze, thank mm-hmm. you. It was on par with that. Oh, the, the fighting segment, I feel okay. like, was. All right, yeah. Which isn't good, yeah. but at least this had a beat em up part that I felt was pretty solid. Yeah, it was on par with that Blarney beat em up that I played on Flash in 1997. <laughs> Where, yeah, on Newgrounds? It, it's like Casey's bar fight. It wasn't even on Newgrounds was in a thing yet. Oh. Like I remember just a random ass flash game that was like fight Mike Tyson and Paris Hilton and Andrew Dice. <laughs> Man, Clay. I wonder who'd win in that fight. And then, fi- <laughs> then, then, yeah, <laughs> then finally Blarney. So it was Barney, but Barney, right. palette swapped where he was green, green outside and purple in the middle. And you beat the stuff stuffing in blood out of him. Because he had both. Yes. <laughs> so. All right. You man. Barney sucked. Yeah. Yeah. Barney was like really big. And like, I remember. Um, Barney's still around. Is Barney still around? Barney's still around. What's the green little triceratops dinosaur he hangs out with? You know her name? <sighs> no. Isn't she green I don't or remember. something? I remember. You're right. Yeah. There's yeah. a, there's a yeah. green one and a yellow one. So if the green is a girl and the boy is a yellow one with like a backwards baseball cap. Oh, see, I don't, I'm not familiar with that one. I think the best thing to come out of Barney is that. Uh, Scene where they're singing the song about brushing their teeth, uh, and then that one little boy uh, totally does the jerk off motion in his mouth. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) I mean, it's just funny. (laughs) He doesn't know what the fuck he's doing, but I bet he does now. (laughs) I bet if his friends have clipped that and sent it to him regularly in gift form. Yeah, happy birthday. (laughs) 
<laughs> like, yeah, yeah, on his wall, underneath where his right. mom's happy birthday. God, I get my wisdom teeth taken out. I gotta watch this fucking thing twenty times. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> and remember that time Barney taught you to jerk dudes off in your mouth? <laughs> it was weird, man. <laughs> We've all been there. That was weird. Maybe stick to Mr. Rogers. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Rogers, see, he taught you to jerk other people off. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. In a waiting pool. <laughs> Got to help your neighbor, Sit man. Sit down. Welcome to my jerk off pool. That's right. Not, may I get you a hand job? Go and take off your Come shoes. Come here. <laughs> I'm ahead. sorry. I don't know what that looks like. <laughs> put your foot. Just aim down, son. Put your, put your feet in the water and then just try to come on your feet. <laughs> Splash them out off in the water. Oh, it's one of those sites. <laughs> <laughs> then afterward, I'll put goldfish in it and they'll just nibble it all up. <laughs> it's my little koi pod. <laughs> welcome, to, welcome to my Chinese restaurant oh, where I uh, wander in and jerk <laughs> off into the pool. How do you feed your fish? It's glorious. <laughs> <laughs> come, baby. <laughs> it's like they're all our little sons. God, <laughs> it's all oh, fun and now I'm the gross one. It's all, I'm, I'm just trying to think of a joke. <laughs> all right, now what do we do on the show? Uh, quiz. We got a quiz. Yeah, we got a quiz that came it. in from one uh, from one Ross Rachel Green from across the pond. Yeah, you guys want to do, do it? it? Okay, guys. Here is a quiz entitled C -c -c "Combats." Ross begins. There has been an air of uncertainty hanging over us this week as people have been getting sick, but the powers that be having the powers that oh, but the powers that be having decided to go into lockdown. All right. Their justification is that everyone who has become sick knows where it came from. Uh, to make it better, it's the boy's birthday on Wednesday and his party on Saturday, and now we aren't sure that it's going to happen. Uh, and to really twist the knife in this week, my mother-in-law sent a parcel of toys and things that she has been picking up from time to time, which included a thing called UB Funkies. This was a <laughs> Toys to Life PC game that came out in 2007 and is obviously no longer supported. <laughs> Do you remember when UB40, the band UB40, made their own toys called UB Funkies? <laughs> <laughs> the red, red wine line of toys was like so, so fucking good. Um, so Ross continues, so some poor bastard had to install a virtual machine running Windows XP just so I could run the install disk and try to play the bloody thing. <laughs> Turns out it's shit. <laughs> 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 anyway, enjoy a quiz that purposefully avoids the letter E. SNES games and letters of the title, etc. Are you ready to begin? Yeah. Ross, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope um uh, I know how that goes with like old shit. Finally, out of the blue, Henry like we clean I I say we. I cleaned Henry's room this this weekend because he was like, Dad, I want that TV. I've got like a little flat panel like in the office that I don't use. And I told him in the past that he could have this TV, you know, eventually when he got older. And he's like, I want that TV. And I said, all right. I want all that trash out of your room. Like, you know. And all, he, all his mailing receipts and everything up on the wall? No, no, no. He can decorate however he wants. But essentially what I said is, dude, you got a whole bunch of stuff in your room that you don't play with. And it is like cluttered as fuck in there. And it's like, let's just clear. Here's in order for me to move a TV in your room, there needs to be a spot for that TV. And he's like, okay, well, let's do it. So we took like four hours. It went through like all his papers and like all his boxes. Which boxes do you want to keep? Okay, you want to keep that car bar? Great, great, great. So we do that. We do that. We do that. Um, we get the TV in his room. Everything's great. And he is addicted to live antenna like over the air KET. <laughs> and I'm like, man, you know it's fucking hipster. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Blue I can't, grass hour. Yeah. I, look, I can't talk. I got a CRT in the, in the office. I can't I can't talk. But there's like so I'm like, dude, you know that you have there's a Roku connected to this TV and it has the PBS Kids app on it. And you can watch it on that without it going in and out every four seconds. He's like, no, man, this enhances the experience. 
Melissa didn't have cable growing up. So, like, in all, like, papers, and the kids are, like, talking about all their favorite shows. And she, I love Nickelodeon. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. And all their, you know, Melissa's like, I love KT. <laughs> KT is the best. <laughs> PBS and KT. Yeah, Beekman's World, which, granted, Beekman's World was very good. PBS Kids is pretty awesome, honestly. Yeah, like, I'm probably not back in the day. I mean, like, I remember watching, like, Mr. Rogers, and I like mm-hmm. Mr. Rogers okay. Sometimes it was boring, like, when you go to a factory or something. I was like, man, I'm going to have to work one day when I'm older, and I, that makes me sad. <laughs> but, <laughs> but Sesame Street, all that, yeah, I was down, I was down mm-hmm. with that. But it's so much better now because it it's totally just is. like, it's it, like, Shrek, all those like adult jokes that that you know they slip in there just so they can have a bigger audience. Right? Like, yeah, that's fucking genius. No, it's it's great. Like I was once we got the TV set up, I sat Henry and I sat in his room and we just watched KET for yeah. like an hour. Yeah, just relaxing after like you know like <laughs> no commercials. Yeah. No, yep. But see, he wanted the life. He wanted the commercials. Uh, he wanted yeah, the live they, TV. They, they yeah. want to see the toys. Well, it's all like what's messed up is like on PBS. It's not messed up, but it's like all just promos for other shows. Yeah, and I'm like, we already know about these shows, man. <laughs> like, or a see, fundraiser. Like yeah, Kenna's reaction to commercials at my mom's house. She's like, they just show you toys in between the shows. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my Christmas list is gonna be so big. Oh yeah. Oh man, like. Fucking like talking about that, like Henry not being able to understand that you cannot pause live TV because we don't have like a DVR or anything. Mm-hmm. So he's like, we were in the middle of watching something. And he's like, I'm hungry. I'm like, all right, let's go get something to eat. Can you pause it? No. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Can't pause it. Oh, I guess I'll just finish watching this. No, it's it's dinner time. We can watch it on the app. We can find it on the app. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Reminds me of an era where, like, I remember being a kid, and it's like, my life, my fucking schedule revolved around what the fuck was coming on TV that day, yep. man. Yeah. You want to play? No, nah, man. DuckTales. <laughs> <laughs> you want to come over and watch DuckTales? Let's do that. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Went on a little tangent there. First question. This C is a four-player arcade beat-em-up that was ported to the Genesis... SNES, Game Boy, and Game Gear, and stars a man who was frozen in ice, a billionaire, and an archer. Oh, an archer and an android. I think that's Captain America, right? Yep. Captain America and the Avengers. Avengers. Yep. All right. Log it in. It is, in fact, Captain America and the Avengers. All right. Next question. This C starred as was named. This this C that British talk. God. This C starred as was named after Core Design's mascot before the introduction of Laura Croft, Laura Croft in 1996. C was named after Core Design's mascot before the introduction. Before, I have no idea what that would. Be. Core Design Corey, Corey the Corey the chameleon. Sure. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't know. Cody Cody Cub. Cody Cody Cub. All right. I have no idea. Before the introduction of Laura Cro- Laura Croft in 1990. Cody yeah. Cub locking it in. Cody Cub. It is Chuck Rock. I've heard of Chuck Rock. As he was I. off at a level on uh Nick Arcade. Oh. Yep. Yeah, I need to No, I'm not going to rewatch any Nick Arcade. The one with Joey <laughs> Fatone on it's pretty good. That one I've seen a couple <laughs> times. <laughs> but only because Joey Fatone's in it. And there's a kid who looks just like Brenny Jr.'s boyfriend, and when I showed her, she was really weirded <laughs> out and said, I really wish you hadn't showed this to me. Because she's like, that. oh, I don't like that kid. Oh, my God. <laughs> Next question. This C is a sports game released in 1996, which featured the announcements... He's heating up, and he's on fire. It's a C-sports game, so it's not NBA Jam. Championship basketball. He's heating up, and he's on fire. What the hell? That's NBA Jam. Cooking cooking challenge. Cooking mama. Cooking mama. The basketball game. That does it, mama. Locking it he's in. He's on fire. It is college slam. Which I've never played, but I can draw you the ad in my mind if you want. It's a yeah. basketball with teeth biting the rim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. I've seen it a million times. Kind of looks like a Ninja Turtle's head, but it's a basketball. Sweet. Next question. This C sees the player transform into one of five animals. 
Muckster the cat, Dodo the duck, Uzi the mouse, Goopy the guppy, and Globmeister the gopher. Claymates. Claymates. Locking nice. it in. Well done, Tyler. It is, in fact, mm-hmm. Claymates. Globmeister the gopher? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's what I call my dick. Wow. <laughs> I call mine Goopy the Guppy. <laughs> <laughs> Globmeister the going for that pussy. <laughs> <laughs> it was Uzi the Mouse until I went to the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. This Super O is a sequel suffixed with the Baja. Oh, brother, where Baja? Part two. I don't yep. know. Locking it in. It is Super Off-Road, the Baja. Never heard of that. Next question. This su- Who lived the dogs out, comma, the who, Baja, who, man. Who, 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 who. who. <laughs> <laughs> This Super M was the third in its series, directly following a Game Boy title. That's Super Metroid. Yep. Because it was Metroid, Metroid, Metroid 2, 2 Game, Game Boy. Boy, and then Super Metroid. Locking it in. Yes, Super Metroid. Next question. This Super B takes place in 2020 in Cyber Egg Stadium. Is that Super Baseball 2020? Yes, it is. Locking it in. It is Super Baseball 2020. Next question. This A is compatible with the SNES mouse and features card games aside from the main game. What's it called? Is it an A? A? Acme Animation? I don't, probably not. I don't remember a card game. Car- it's compatible with the SNES mouse and features card games aside from the main. Hey, Caesar's Palace. Hey, Caesar's Gosh. Palace. Starring the Fonz, <laughs> locking it in. Yeah. It is Acme Animation Factory. Damn. I didn't know there were card games in wow. it. Wow. Half, half credit. We said it. We'll yeah. count it. Yeah. Full credit. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> this is our show. We do what the fuck we want. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> this T is a sports video game that takes place on a very difficult otherworldly course. Otherworldly course. Sports game. T sports tea. video game that takes place on a very difficult otherworldly course. T. Mm-mm. Otherworldly course. What's a sports game that you play on like another world? Like on Mars. Yeah. Biker Mice from Mars. The Biker Mice the, from Mars. Comma. The <laughs> uh, Terra Racers. Ex- Terra Extra Racers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Locking it in. <laughs> no, I don't know. It is True Golf Classics Wicked 18. Never. Uh, what? <laughs> never heard of that one. But I, I'm kind of looking forward to it. Yeah, we'll see. If it's on another world. Yeah. Do you go to like planets in the solar system? Like each planet is a course kind of deal? <laughs> Tiger Woods drives the ball so hard you go to different planets to keep playing. Yeah. Yeah, you got to go retrieve it. Next question. This S is a vertically scrolling shooter which sees you pilot a ship named after the game's title. It also incorporates mode seven. Comes with an S? Yes. Sid Meier's vertically scrolling shooter. <laughs> now with mode seven. Uh, super, super R type. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, where, I don't let's know where do mode that. Seven would be in it, but or is it is it super R type three? Is that is it R type or there's, is it just there? There's super R type, okay. super R type, the third strike or whatever that we did for the list. Okay, super R type. Sure. Yeah, logging it in. It is strike gunner STG. That was a good guess, though. That was way more than I had. And that's it. That's the quiz. All right. Thanks, Ross. I hope that uh, Windows XP installation <laughs> uh, shapes shapes up. Appreciate the quiz. Well, uh, I want to know um, what we're going to do next week. Okay. Do you want to do a random Super Nintendo game, or would you like to should. do something? Okay. Yeah, let's All get right. back on track. Okay. All right. Go over and grab this better up peripheral real quick. Okay. Go ahead and put one end on the ground, uh-huh. my head on the other end, wild and crazy kid style. Please. Turn in a circle point very that, quickly. So point my that no-no no hole no. is in a random direction. It's fucking quivering. Oh, so quivering. It's so aching. ready. It's so ready for yeah. this. It's winking at it's everybody. It's been so long. <laughs> yeah, I'm winking back. <laughs> <laughs> and I say the pretty, it's so greasy. Yeah. It's so greasy. Yeah. It's greasy. It's, <laughs> it's, it's lip syncing. <laughs> it's a bad to the bone. It's playing in the background. <laughs> Talk back to it. <laughs> So I'll say the prayer we all love to say. Boop, 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 boop,
six, eight, two. Ooh, that's fucking high. It's all even numbers. Weird, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, W's? It is the W's. W's. You're fucking good at this, mm, man. Mm. Uh, WrestleMania 94. No, it is We're Back, a dinosaur story. <laughs> okay. I have never seen that movie, but I remember seeing the commercials and being like, I'll never see this movie. And now I guess I will watch <laughs> yeah, it. <laughs> that'll show you, show you, little me. <laughs> yeah. So there we go. That sounds like a good one. We're back. Yeah. Yeah, good. Good. You, you going to be here for that one? I doubt it. Unless, <laughs> if you want me to. Um, yes, of course. All right. Anytime, man. Will you watch Anytime. We're, you will watch We're Back? <laughs> Yeah. All of three of us in our, in our little footy pajamas. Jimmy's in the jammies. Popcorn and chocolate milk and jammies. And weed. It's uh, weed and circle jerks. None of you guys look at me while I come to this T-Rex. <laughs> Pass me the T-Rex. Taller than what it looks like. So I got next. <laughs> you had to come in the sheet so no one knows what it looks like. I made a burrito. <laughs> Well, thanks for listening, everybody. You can find this show on iTunes, Spotify. I don't know why I yeah. did that. <laughs> <laughs> Stitcher, and our entire backlog on YouTube. Yes, thanks to yes. Uh, Backlog Banisher Dane. Now 600 episodes on YouTube. 600 deep. Mm. And about 40 views. Yeah, combined, yeah. Yeah, if you take out three ninjas kick. Pack and yeah. yeah, cool world. Yeah, those are our two most disappointingly uh, watched videos on YouTube. You know, in hindsight, maybe I shouldn't have used the box art as the thumbnails for that because they definitely look like they would be they the use movies images from the movies. Yeah, people don't. People are pretty mad, but that's okay. No, still, still got them. Still, still got them. Still not monetized. So you know, <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> whatever. Uh. So you like us? You like this show? Uh, we're on Facebook. Tad Bog. Episode announcements, memes. Yeah. Uh, are you a fan of the show? Like that more dank shit? Yeah. It's Tad Bog Nation. You want to be a fucking Viking with me? Yeah. You want to be a fucking Viking? My goddamn Viking. Join the Discord. Bit.ly slash Tad Bog Discord. Yeah. Let's go fucking kill some sea serpents and shit. Yeah. But if I want to be left alone, please leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> if you see me chopping wood, do not approach. Right, yeah. I'm good. <laughs> I'm vibing. You, you right? leave me be. Yeah. The other day I was like, someone said they saw me on the server and I was like, but yeah, but you weren't on like voice chat or anything. It's like I was introverting. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like gonna do my little tasks all by myself. I'm checking. I'm like I'm making myself not visible on the map. If I see someone on the map near my vicinity, I'll go somewhere else <laughs> and do something there. If my character's wearing a black T-shirt, do not approach <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Dave's in black. We're, it's it's yeah. a six-man crew today. <laughs> <laughs> If I'm dressed like the crow, <laughs> leave me alone. Yes. But then again, there are times where I just want to, you know, I just want to fucking skinny dip in the fucking ocean. So yeah, there are times with my with my homies. Yeah. You know? Hell yeah. Sometimes I want to do that. Sometimes I just want to be alone and chop wood <laughs> and listen to podcasts and think about, you know, how good life is and stuff, you know? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, reflect. Uh, what else do we got? Uh, we're on... Well, Twitch. Most of all, Dave, yeah. you're on Twitch. Yeah, it's a good show. Tap on Thanks, Church man. I on Sunday. Yeah, and I, so I've been trying to do Fridays too. And for, I've noticed I've appreciated that. Yeah, I've been trying to do Fridays, and oh, that reminds me because I, maybe I'll start streaming some uh, Breath of Fire because on the Discord, the SNES oh, Club OG Breath of Fire Game of the Month uh, nice. voted in Breath of the Fire. So Breath of the Fire. It's Breath my granddad's the version. <laughs> 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 Get that breath yeah. of the fire. Yeah, it's Eugene. It's <laughs> Eugene Levy's version of Breath of Fire. <laughs> breath of the fire. Bub the breath of the <laughs> fire. Yeah, it's pretty good. I hear. <laughs> I remember playing it for the show and being like, I ain't fucking finishing this. <laughs> so I'm probably not gonna finish it's it. Good, this month. but it's slow. Yeah, so slow. Yeah, and you know, yeah. I don't know if anybody in that game's uh, waifuable or not. I can't uh, remember. Nina. Okay. Nina's all right. All right. Blue. Blue's the, the Naga. 
Oh, okay. Cute woman on you top, my boy, snake Blue. on bottom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, we're on uh, Tapog underscore podcast on Instagram and Twitter. Yeah. If you want a shirt, shirts.tapog.com. Yeah. Don't own any shirts? Want one? Yeah, get one. Get several. Yeah. Get them all. Get, get all the tad dogs. Collect ones. all of them. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta catch them all. <laughs> um, Cosplay your favorite DuckTales episode uh, in them. Please, please do. Yeah. No pants. And you are, <laughs> Zero bottoms. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Donald Duckett. Duck feet us. are fine, though. Send that to Casey <laughs> underscore yeah <laughs> on Snapchat. <laughs> you damn right. Premium snap. <laughs> you want a mass? Mass.tadpog.com. You want to send us something? That's Tadpog Studios, care of Nicole Nance, P.O. Box 3785, Paducah, Kentucky, 42002. Yeah, I brought a package and, we do, and yeah. forgot about it. Do you want to open it? There's you only want... one small thing in there, so yeah, let's open it. You know, some of the best things come in small packages. That's what my wife says. And then she <laughs> fucks me, and I'm like, yeah, they do. <laughs> so, okay. The label on this. Because Melissa is five, one, and three quarters, quote, unquote. And three quarters. So these are gummy bears? Lil Lil Nitro? Lil Nitro? The edibles? I not <laughs> Let's, Come on, boys. So We're watching We're Back right now. Uh no, Lil Damn. Nitro, the world's hottest gummy bear. Oh. This gummy bear is on fire. Do you dare this fiery gummy bear? Okay. Consumer beware. This is not your ordinary gummy bear. Stop rhyming gummy bear. We get it. <laughs> we fucking get it. It's a hot gummy bear. It's a hot gummy bear to make There's... your have tons of gummy hair. <laughs> 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 we get it. There's fire on the box. It's a hot gummy bear. We get it. It's like Melissa tells me after sex. Oh, you got all the you got the wet and crunchies over here. <laughs> the wet and crunchies. Yep. <laughs> uh. <laughs> call, the, call the soggies. <laughs> They got some work to do. <laughs> From Flamethrower Candy Company comes the next experience for those who seek the heat. Lil Nitro has been infused with our signature 9 million Scoville unit chili extract, making him 900 times hotter than a jalapeno pepper. Do you dare this fiery gummy bear? So, want to add this to add, the list? Add to the stack. The stack of food we're going to eat and get really sick. Yep. We're going to do a video of that. I don't know who this is from. Uh, the package says it's from Borden General. So thank you, Borden General. <laughs> 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 clever. Very clever. Yeah, we got that. You want to call us? 270 883 2555. We're going to get some calls sometime eventually. Get a, our very expensive screening service to kind of boil some down, and we'll do a all call sometime for the Patreon. Yeah, catch up on that. A and little we bit. need to do Star Fox Assault, and like, yep, I'm ready to do that before I forget what the game is about. Yep, yep, I'm down. <laughs> we do that for March. We just got to schedule it. Yep. Yeah. Um, I think that's about it, isn't it? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Uh, most importantly, we got that Patreon. Oh yeah, we do. Patreon.com/slash Tadpog. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode and you've made it to this point, you're legally obligated to give us at least one dollar. So sorry, we should have told you that up front, but here we are. So what are we gonna do? But we waited. It's how we get you. Yeah, we're gonna eat a fiery gummy bear. Damn it, it's worth a dollar. That's true. Yep. They do. I, I mean, I'm one of them who yeah. does enjoy it. Yeah, I think it's <laughs> yeah. great. You and Ryan filmed it. Once. Oh man. So yeah, if you want to see Tyler throwing up, there's at least two videos of that on patreoncom slash Did We include the the price jump from Plinko Nick Price. I think that we did, but I think it's it was a, a large enough price. Nothing's yeah. happened on Patreon, is what we're trying to say. I'm talk about the pledge by the Steam Machine podcast. Uh huh. It's All been right. a it's been a slow week. It's been yep. a, it's been a slow week on Patreon. Yep. Yeah. It's been a bad week on Patreon. It's been a bad, it's been a bad, it's been a pretty bad week. It's been a pretty bad week on I'm Patreon. I'm not reading all the deductions. <laughs> so yeah, it's been a bad week. So uh yeah, we need to publish some content. <laughs> <laughs> so once again, if you enjoyed this, then uh patreon.com slash that pod. Be super sweet of you. It'd be very nice. If Go you've... back and watch this weekend in video. That's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, if you've ever been on the fence, like I don't know if I should give these guys money or not, uh now's the time. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I would like to thank uh, those on Patreon who uh, donate more than twenty dollars, twenty dollars or more a month. Uh, thank you very much. These are our executive producers, and this show has been executive produced. I'm stalling. I'm stalling. All right, we've got God Emperor Alex Pena, cousin David Galino, Cthusius Jeff Miners, Zeus Laser, 
Coronavirus Savior Cubicle Monkey, Steve Dixon, Plinko Nick Price, Lint Liquor Joseph Phillips, Clam Bro Cody Phillips, Bantha Master, The Eightfold Daniel Abernathy, Time Lord Josh Edwards, Executive Producer Dig Dougie, Matt Gentile, a.k.a. Gentle G, Magical Sleeper, a.k.a. Big Dick Pie Baker Chris Vaughn, Usurper Grimm, Laud Mulaney Dennis, Pinball Archmage Chris Edler, congratulations on your marriage and I'm sorry you couldn't be on this episode, Sandwich Pope Phil Hawkins, Drinksmith Joey Webster, Big Daddy Paul Anderson, and Master Cycle Baron Kevin Link. Thank you guys. Hell yes. We appreciate it very much and it goes a long way. Penis? <laughs> or just say penis? You want to play the penis game? <laughs> Penis. Oh, your what it would sound like? Your penis, like? what Drumming. if it had a voice? And what's saying, saying tropical Capricorn? In which state? Full erection? Oh, we get to pick. Mine just sounds sleepy. I don't know, that makes sense. Mine sounds sometimes like if it sounds like it's super far away, I'm not a rat. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you're wearing pants. <laughs> All right, we got it. I, I got mine. What it sounds like. What it, what it sounds like. Yeah. Had a voice. I mean, this was your like idea. Voice. <laughs> <laughs> I, just I think you can penis. define it as, as much as you want. I know, and I like it. Look, man, look buddy, I'm not, I'm not saying it's a bad idea, baby. I'm, I'm, using, just the, lo- I'm using the voice I use on Melissa whenever it talks to her. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah you do. I do, yeah. <laughs> okay, got it. All right. So until next time. Kool Aid Man. (laughs) (laughs) I wish everyone could see your face right now. It's the best. (laughs) It's the best. Same breath. This is what it sounds like when doves cry. (laughs) (laughs) Also, that that fiery gummy bear was from Mr. and Mrs. G. So thanks. I just found thanks. Bye. So, uh, real quick, uh, we have a, well, the return. So I want to welcome back our famous, completely unknown mystery guest who's come who's come to the studio real quick. It's been a while. Well, well thank you very much. Thank it's you. been a while. It's, welcome it, back. It's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I just got to say, I'm, I'm a workaholic. Is that right? Yeah. You, you mentioned work, I get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm, uh, I'm a lot older, you know, and I, I've changed a whole lot. I'm not what I used to be, and nothing works, you know, and I, I decided to start looking out for number one, and, but, but I stepped in number two. <laughs> <laughs> the, the dentist said I, I need a new tooth, you know, and I said, well, make, make sure it matches the others. You know, so yeah. so so he he put one in. I had four cavities. <laughs> <laughs> I looked in the mirror, and you know, and I I'm older now, and you know, I, I didn't recognize myself, you know. And and the doctor said my eyesight was good, you know, but my kids they dress like me when they go out trick or treat. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did go as you one Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> and two things I hate: cold coffee and wet toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> and my, and my, my wife, she's uh, she's afraid of the dark. She saw me naked one time. Now she's afraid of the light. <laughs> She 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 flips a coin to see if she has to kiss me goodnight. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you can make love and lose 150 calories. <coughs> did you know that? You can lose. Didn't know that. Calories? Yeah. Didn't know that. I did once, and I lost 150 calories in my watch and my billfold. <laughs> 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 and I met met a girl on the street. You know. Street girl. It happens. It happens. <laughs> we've, we've all been there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have we? <laughs> and I'm older now, you know. <laughs> she said, I'll do anything for $300. I said, okay, come home and paint my house. <laughs> <laughs> she, was, uh, she was in love with a quarter pounder until she tried a Whopper. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know people hate the weather but don't nobody do anything about it you know 
All right, I'm back now. <laughs> hey, oh yeah, man. Fucking <laughs> crushed it. <laughs> I think everyone's really going to enjoy that. Okay, guys. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm running late. I got to go. Thanks for coming back. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you for having me. Yeah, it's tough, it's man. good to be here, man. <laughs> Appreciate you. <laughs> That's the fucking coolest time. <laughs>